Good evening. I'm Jason Carl from White Wolf, and welcome to Vampire the Masquerade, 5th edition, Chronicle, Los Angeles by Night. Chapter 1, Mortal Stakes. Let's meet our vampires. Hey, my name is Alexander Ward, and I'm playing Jasper. Hi, my name is Cynthia Marie, and I am playing Nelly G. B. Dave Walters, playing Victor Temple. Erica Ishi will join us at a dramatically appropriate moment in just a little while. So, special thanks and shout outs. I'd like to thank Dogmite for this beautiful storyteller screen, which has the Los Angeles skyline on it very appropriately. And uh, also for uh, these beautiful dice boxes, which reveal the clans of our vampires, for those of you who are playing in the poll. Mm -hmm. We'd also like to thank Elderwood Academy for uh, this fantastic vampire tome dice box, which holds your blood dice, your vampire dice, and your hunger dice very safely. Let's tell a story about vampires. L.A. by night is a city in turmoil. In the 1940s, young vampires rebelled and the streets ran red with elder blood and the Anarch Free States were born under the leadership of the legendary Jeremy McNeil. The Anarchs carved the city up into neighborhood baronies and they claimed that this was a city of new promise for all vampires, a city of equality and justice among the undead. But as with all kinds of justice, your mileage may vary. And that's doubly true when you're a vampire. <laughs> so tonight, the Camarilla has abandoned the city of San Francisco. And Prince Vannevar Thomas has claimed praxis over Los Angeles. The Anarchs, not having any of this but they must respond quickly before the Camarilla takes over the city that they call theirs. So, that's the situation. And now, we're gonna start our story. This morning, when the sun rose over Los Angeles, the people of the city, the mortals, woke up and they went to work. They took care of their children and they went to school and they did their shopping. They drove places, they met for lunch, they had dinner. But our vampires didn't do any of these things. While the sun was in the sky, they were comatose. Their lungs didn't breathe, their eyes didn't blink, and their hearts didn't beat because they're dead. But when the sun sinks below the horizon, their eyelids flutter open. They awaken into the night. We're going to start our scene in Griffith College, a location common and important to these particular vampires, 
where they have discovered something upsetting. A poacher. So what do we do? Well, Jasper, darling, it's not you, is it? I don't think it qualifies as poaching if I'm the one doing it. And I think we know that he would cover his tracks much better than this. There's missing blood. There's, what, six students? Like, what do we even know so far? I mean, we know that there's a uh, rash of anemic students, flu-like symptoms, people missing. That explains a couple of my fashion students missing classes. Have mm. you heard anything? Anyone on your blog or whatever? What is it that you do? Oh, that, don't worry about it. I no. have a ton of things that I do, but right now we need to focus on how many students are missing. There are six of them. Six. Focus. Has anyone seen anything? Well, according to your uh, contacts on campus at the infirmary, there are a number of um, blood plasma bags missing. Maybe mm. as many as um, seven or eight. And uh, six or seven students who are all reporting the same unusual flu-like symptoms accompanied by unusual anemia. Over roughly what period of time has this taken place? Barely a week. <sighs> so either someone is very hungry or you have multiple poachers. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> well, I guess that's why we're here, to go take a look. Yes, well, where do we start? Well, I'm not going to be the one going on campus. Now am I? I'll go. I mean, I always like to spend some time with the people, find out what's going on, make sure that, you know, record sales are up. Would you like to accompany me, my darling? Oh, I suppose if I have to. And I'll keep an eye on you from elsewhere. As you normally do. You always do. So, Victor and Nelly, you are going to um, leave the Sanctum and head out onto campus to make some personal inquiries? Yes. Yes. Jasper, how do you intend to handle this? It's difficult for you to go out among the mortal populace without a little preparation. Without a little preparation, Looking yes. as you do. You're beautiful, darling. Well, seeing as I have no hair and very corpus and veiny and gross, I think I'm going to try and follow along the roof of the buildings, and uh, keeping myself unseen. So you want to uh, traverse the rooftops of the college? Do you want to try to keep them in sight? Keep them in sight, but also maybe a little bit ahead, see if I can spot anything out. Hmm. Sounds like unseen presence to me. Yep. Uh, it's going to need a rouse check. All right. Okay, so you're going to call upon the unnatural power of your blood and that's to just conceal one. yourself. That's so just one correct. One die. All right. Let me check. That is a failure. Your hunger increases by one. You started at one, and so already, not even an hour into the evening, <laughs> the beast in your gut <laughs> begins to stir and gnaw and mm. rattle at its cage. All right. Hungry, <laughs> wants a snack. This is going well. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? So you're going to go sure from one it. hunger to two to hunger. Two. All right. Okay, but uh, go ahead and make the uh, unseen presence check. All right. Um, and that is going to be a... So, since we we're not so old, we also have access to these newfangled tools like cell phones to text and call each other as well, correct? Unlike the Camarilla, which has uh, begun to reject technology as a significant threat to the masquerade, the first tradition that demands that all vampires disguise themselves from mortals, or the, lest they risk the, the wrath of retribution, uh, from the human populace, Anarchs have no such qualms. So yeah, you got smartphones. Well, you can even have an Instagram account if you want. Technology <laughs> worked out very well for us. So. But of course. Yes. Yeah. All right, so wits plus my ob mm -hmm. obfuscation score. Here we go. We've got three successes. Okay. When you look for him, unless you're using a special power, you don't see him. He's up there somewhere in the shadows, at least you hope he is. Okay. When you emerge onto campus, it's a familiar sight for you. Griffith College takes up several city blocks in East Hollywood. It's a small private university, uh, crowded with a diversity of young people, even at night. 
students going from dorms to the student union building to the cafe to the pub to the library or just walking around the quad. The architectural style is unusual, a cacophony of old and new buildings. It used to be a movie studio built in the 1930s during the silent film era, era and then converted in the 40s when the talkies came along, but it fell into disrepair and now it's being slowly renovated with modern glass and steel. There are asphalt paths winding their way uh, through the manicured trees and grass, all illuminated in a pale, almost ghostly light by street lamps. It's easy access by car and train and bus, and students always seem to be ready to talk about what is going on. So Victor and Nelly, when you emerge from your, uh, your lair, where do you go? Do we know anything about the the anemic kids? Like, were they any particular dorm, any particular side of campus, or is it completely random? Well, you haven't examined the records from the infirmary yet, and they might tell you something if you check them out. There might be a pattern. Uh, so that's a good avenue of investigation. I say we go to the infirmary. Keep your hands off the bags, please. We're here on business. Uh, as <laughs> if. Remember what happened before. You, mm. I was hungry, I lost control, I'm sorry. Yes. To the infirmary, please. <sighs> Jasper, roll me four dice, including your hunger, and tell me what you get, please. Okay, so the infirmary is a quick walk across the quad. It's part of the student union building. One success. One success, no, uh, no bestial failure. No, no bestial failure. Okay, you're all good. Um, one success it is for Jasper. Word. Okay. You uh, follow along the rooftops, moving stealthily and skillfully through the shadows, mm -hmm. completely unseen, and you observe from across the, uh, across the quad as they enter the infirmary building. All right. So the infirmary is um, not quite a hospital, but it's not really a um, emergency medical center either, somewhere in between. The health center. Hmm. Pretty much a health center. <laughs> it's got a few beds for emergency cases, uh, the night staff looks um, like they're all overworked and would like to be someplace else, like maybe home, watching a movie or sleeping. Um, <laughs> everybody looks pretty tired and overworked. Um, the desk clerk looks up at you with an exhausted half smile and wants to know how he can help you tonight. Would you like me to distract him so you can look around, or we both I think talk I'm to him? better as a distraction while you look around. I can be quite enthralling, but please, by all means, after you. I'm gonna walk up. <laughs> you got his attention. Suddenly he sits up a little straighter and um, opens his eyes a little wider, trying to appear a little bit more alert and a little less... Uh, Less tired. Uh, miss, uh, what can we do for you? Darling, uh, we heard that there are um, a few students here who have been reported of being a little um, under the weather, uh, a little lacking in sort of iron or oh. efficiency. Oh, wow. Um, you know, we can't give out medical records. We can't talk about cases like that. It's privacy rules. Gotta, gotta protect people's privacy. I'm sorry. I, I'd love to help you, but I, I just can't. I'd like to activate all. Okay, it's free, yeah. no rouse check. <laughs> yeah. Clerk is immortal, so. so yeah, uh, it is no rouse check, there right? There's no rouse check at all for yeah. this. It's a, it's a level one power, and you don't have to call upon the blood to activate it. Mm. Um, so uh, your, uh, any dice pool that you could possibly summon would easily overwhelm any resistance that this mortal has. Mm -hmm. So the power takes effect, and you get to add your uh, presence to any persuasion or charisma-based roles, anything mm. that's... Um, about uh, being friendly and uh, charismatic. What do you want to tell him? So I just lean in and I just say, uh, um, what my uh, associate here isn't saying is, um, we think she might have picked up this same bug that's going around. Oh. And we just wanted oh. to know if oh. maybe there's some pattern. Oh. Was it, did she eat in the studio? Yeah, you, you, guys, you, guys, you, guys, you guys wait right here, wait right here. Yeah. Um, Make a uh, charisma plus persuasion check and add your presence to it. Okay, and I do have my, I include my one hunger die though, correct? Include the so one hunger yeah, die. One hunger yep. by default. And let me know what the hunger die comes up, success Chari or failure. Charisma plus persuasion, correct? 
Alright. I think that's it. Jasper, four dice, please. Read your hunger dice. Uh, one, two, three, three successes. The oh, hunger dice was blank. The hunger dice is a failure. Okay. So, your hunger stays neutral. Three successes total? Yes, sir. Okay. Right away, right away. If you'll just make yourself comfortable, I'll get someone to talk to you. Just, just, he covers his hands with his mouth and yeah. backs away really quickly. I understand, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be all right. We're going to get this fixed. One success? Mm -hmm. One success. So you've accumulated a total of two? I told you I was the one that I should do in the okay. home. From your vantage point on the rooftop, you can see that uh, there's an impromptu you know, performance going on now in the quad. A uh, mm. couple of students have... Uh, Got uh, some instruments, got a saxophone and um, a guitar, and they're uh, starting to play out uh, in the night air. It's terrible. It's absolutely awful. It's some sort of weird mashup between Simon and Garfunkel oh. and Chelsea Wolf. Oh my! Uh, it's really, it's just grating on the ears. Oh. It's bad. All right, great. It's very distracting too. Okay. They are beginning to attract a crowd outside the infirmary. Mm. Meanwhile, back inside the infirmary, hmm. um, the orderly, uh, the clerk, uh, has um, vanished and has not returned. And instead, uh, a young woman in hospital scrubs uh, comes out carrying a clipboard and uh, walks up to you. Who's, who's got the symptoms? <coughs> you, uh, oh, um, come on into the exam room. Um, Mr. and Mrs. G. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. G, I see. <laughs> Um, We're very you'll have, aggressive. You'll have to excuse me, but you don't look like students. Uh, no, and in fact, we're not necessarily seeking treatment. We're really just trying to figure out where she might have picked this up. We're just more curious. Is it is it the athletes that are getting sick? Is it like a dorm? Is it some food poisoning? Like is we it just the fashion students? Yeah, we just didn't. Who, we were curious. Who are you people, and why are you asking these questions? I mean, darling, we might as well just actually tell them who we are. Oh. I didn't want to, but okay. looks very skeptical, and she isn't moving toward the exam room. <laughs> Do you watch or look at Instagram at all, or YouTube? Miss, I don't have time to, to look the radio. at social media. We've got six students here. I've got problems of my own. Oh, no, he's a famous own. music producer. You probably have seen his well, work. Well, that's, that's wonderful for you, sir, but we're very <laughs> busy he here. he a lot of money mm -hmm. to the school. My name's on one of the buildings. I didn't want to be that guy, but... Please, ma'am, I have a vested interest in the well-being of the student body here. Charisma plus persuasion again. Add your presence to it. Include your hunger die, please. Jasper? Yeah. It's just gone from bad to worse. Oh. They've abandoned the sh they've kept the Simon and Garfunkel, abandoned the Chelsea Wolf, okay. and they've added REM to it. Uh. Yeah, it's it's it, but the students love it. There must be a, there must be a, at least a dozen uh, students outside the infirmary now and digging the impromptu concert. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> so one success and one of the skulls on my blood die. One success, one skull. Oh, okay. Well, your roll didn't fail, so you don't get a bestial failure. Mm. So that's merely a failure, but you did get a success. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all good there. Uh, you look familiar. Um, you both look a little familiar. Uh, all right, so you're a, what a, you're a, you're a member of the board, maybe, and you don't want it to get out? I mean, I'm not trying to waste your time, but I'm also not trying to have you waste hours. Mm -hmm. So if you could just let us know well, so we can have some idea so that we can kind of help the kids. Step inside the exam room. After you? Sure, sure. Um, so she steps in after you and shuts the door. Okay, sir, I understand that you're somebody very important, but... I need some sort of authorization to release these records. What, what's your name? Uh, I don't need records, just even roughly. Roughly. Roughly on the east side of campus. Roughly on the west side of campus. That's all we're asking. Well, I shouldn't do this, but you know, if you're a member of the board, then, then maybe it's okay. It started about a week ago, and um, all the students share the same symptoms. It's like the flu, but... It's not responding to the normal drugs. And they all exhibit extreme tiredness and lethargy, um, almost as if they were anemic. But mm. that kind of illness, you know, is really isn't indicative of anything that is usual. I suppose the, the long shot dark side is some sort of you know, pernicious encephalitis, but 
Ooh. they don't respond positively to those tests. So maybe it's a kind of flu that we don't understand or we haven't seen before. We sent blood samples to um, uh, a larger hospital, and maybe they can tell us something in a day or two. But mm -hmm. all, all we can do really now is um, just wait and see. Um, do we know if it's um, more male population or more female population? Well, it's male and female students. Um, they uh, are all, um, all enrolled in classes here. Some are freshmen, juniors, sophomores, no seniors. Um, they all have uh, jobs on campus through the work-study program. Mm -hmm. um, all of them work in the evenings. They've got evening jobs. Um, you know, I, I suppose if you could show me some sort of credentials or some way that I won't get in trouble, I could give you their names and maybe have, let you have a look at the records. Can I take a look to see if there's anyone who's watching the student body more intensely than they're watching the band? Super good question. Okay. So, please make um, a wits plus investigation roll. Okay, including my hunger die? Including the hunger All die. All right. Tell me what you got. That is one success. I can name only one? Only one. The only individual watching the gathering intently is a security mm -hmm. guard. Mm. He looks a little bored, maybe amused. Doesn't seem like he's upset or inclined to interfere, though. Right, all right. Um, if you want to try again, you'll need to move to a better angle on the roof. Maybe get a little closer. Maybe hang over the edge a little right. bit like I'll some disgusting gargoyle. <laughs> I will do that. Okay, you want to try it again? I will try it again. All right, I'm going to give you an advantage um, here. I'm going to uh, lower the difficulty to only two. All right. The two successes is all you need. Two successes. Fantastic, that's perfect. In addition to the security guard, mm -hmm. on the other side of the crowd, right. uh, you do notice somebody who's looking at the uh, students um, really intently. Mm. Um, it's a young man with short black hair and a Griffith College hoodie. Mm. Um, he looks pissed off, angry, okay. like this is some sort of affront to musical propriety. I'm going to keep my eye on him. going to keep your eye on him. Yeah. What's going on inside? Darling, I don't have time for this anymore. My name is uh, Nellie G, or Nellie Griffith. I am the uh, founder of the fashion department here. Oh, Miss Griffith, top. yes. Thank you. I should have recognized you. Yes, yes, yes you should have. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I understand you probably didn't want anybody to know you were here. No, that's why I wear very big sunglasses. It's all clear to me now. Excellent. Um, here, uh, I'll call up the records on the monitor for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Sure. She sits down at the monitor and uh, makes a few hurried keystrokes uh, on the keyboard, and she begins calling up student records uh, from the infirmary database. I just take pictures, basically. As she's on your phone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <laughs> the three students with the worst symptoms um, are a student named Luann, who works on the uh, campus coffee shop. And two students who work in the library. I text Jasper these pictures. You're right in the middle of your intent observations. <laughs> your cell phone buzzes. Do you have a special? Do you have a special uh, tone for Victor? How appropriate! Got my phone on vibrate. Mm, <laughs> But if there were sound, there were sound, it would be sad trombones. Sad trombones. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's gonna say obfuscate. How do you, how do you really feel about the country. I really feel. Yeah. Um, all right. I, I get back over the edge, and okay. I flip open my or flip open. My phone. <laughs> it's like I have a flip phone. All right. All right. You have an okay. Yeah. It's, it's canon now. now. No, I, I open my phone and I look, and I go, oh. Okay. So uh, you see three pictures uh, flash across the screen. One is a young redheaded woman wearing a green leather jacket. Uh, are you including the hospital record information in the picture or yes. just the photos of the student? Whatever's on the screen. Whatever's on the screen. The student works at uh, Campus Cafe Grounds for Coffee. The next one is a student named Juan who has short black hair and uh, is wearing a hoodie. In fact, 
you have seen him just a few moments ago. Ah. And the third photograph is um, a freshman named Chan who works at the Library Media Center. I text back that I have eyes on one. Well, you did have eyes on one, but somewhere between the <sighs> buzzing of your phone and the texting back, he is no longer in the quad. Ouch. Mm. Fuck. Meanwhile, back in the infirmary, um, the doctor is apologetic. She hopes that uh, you've got what you need. Um, and she can be of any further help. You just have to call her. She gives you her card. I take her card, and then I put my hand on her shoulder, and I say, don't worry. We're going to forget all about this. Are you and, using uh, yes. cloud memory? I'm going to cloud her memory of <laughs> talking to us. Okay, cloud memory is free. does not require a rouse check, but you do need to make a charisma and dominate roll. Okay. It is just those two things together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two successes, but one of the successes was on my blood die. That's fine. It's still a success. Okay. So she blinks. Her eyelids flutter. She is about to say something and then forgets what she said. I, I hope you both have a very good night. I've got to get back to work. That's uh, all, darling. Call me if you need anything. She seems confused and puzzled. She shrugs and uh, maybe chalks it up to lack of sleep long day okay back into the back into the um interior of the infirmary she goes are you leaving yeah mm -hmm. all right you get two texts from me one says i have eyes on one the second one says no i don't <laughs> <laughs> are you looking around for him yeah i i'm gonna see if i can see him anywhere if i can't i'm gonna head off the roof and try and go on the ground okay uh that's a great idea you don't spot him so you're gonna descend i'm going to descend Climbing down mm -hmm. mm, quickly. No, you're gonna find uh, you find a fire escape on the far yeah. side of the building. Descend as quickly as you can, still using an unseen presence. Do you want me to make a stealth check to see if I do it quietly? Yeah, those old fire escapes can be pretty rickety. You make a lot of noise, and this mm -hmm. would not be the time to contract attention to yourself. No, it would not. You're exiting the infirmary. Yes, but on the way out, I just look at the guy that was at the table, and I'm like, I appreciate if you could keep this. We weren't here. Are you going to use cloud memory on him, too? No. No? No. Okay. Just words. He shrugs. Okay. Five successes. Whoa. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, nobody is hiding from you tonight. <laughs> uh, it's, it's bad you were looking only for one, because this would have, this would have been the time to go looking for the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> right? <laughs> on the far end of the quad, you see him disappearing into the library. That's the time when Nellie and Victor emerge from the infirmary, and you descend yeah. the fire escape. Can we see him? I'm still super quietly. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. He, you don't. He's nowhere to be seen. Okay. You could I, call him maybe. I'm going to. So I see them coming out of the library. Mm -hmm. Can I swoop up behind them and, and just go library and then leave? <laughs> I hate when he does that. <sighs> Never get used to that. Uh, yeah, the, the library. Yes. <laughs> Quickly. Uh, we, it, he's got the library taken care of. Let's go to the coffee shop. No, he can't go in the library. Oh. Who says? I, oh, this should be outstanding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shall, shall we say that you rendezvous at the, uh, at the entrance to the library? Yes. Yes. Okay. You meet uh, them there? I meet them there. Okay. Under the, uh, under the sickly glow of the uh, orange sodium street lamps, his... Hideous features are revealed in all their glory. Oh, it's mm. glad to see that. I know what I look like. The ointment's working. It is. Thanks. Keep, keep that up. Are you sure you aren't going to mess up your suit or your shoes? No, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> my shoes got ruined last time because of you. Uh, well, one, one of the men you sent me a picture of, is inside the library. Just thought you'd want to know. Shall we go speak with him? If we. He looks. Upset. At least he was when the music was playing. Hmm. Never hire that band in your label. It's true. I You're think not a fan of their uh, musical stylings? Is that, yeah. is that fair to say? We, we may you revoke the scholarship. Hire them to annoy him. him. That's a good point. Uh, into the library after <laughs> you, my lady, after you. 
You enter the college library. It's, it's exactly like you remember it from last time. Big Yay. building full of books, uh, but with modern computer databases instead of card catalogs of your college days. Oh, this right? place is such a yawn. Uh, knowledge is power. Well, <laughs> money is power, but second to money, knowledge is power. It's late enough at night that um, the building is starting to empty. Even the, uh, even the most studious uh, of, the, uh, of the young people are beginning to pack up and make their way home. So there aren't that many people around in the library lobby. And at the reference desk, right inside the front doors, you see a young man who you think pretty much fits the description that Jasper gave you. Kind of, uh, kind of thin and uh, tall, short, dark hair, and with a Griffith College hoodie. He's um, at the reference desk. It looks like he works here. Uh, this one is yours. <laughs> Use this. Meanwhile, outside yeah. the library, the agony assaulting your ears has what? not abated. Mm -hmm. So still with the Simon and Garfunkel, but... Um, it might be it might be the police. Oh. You're not sure? <laughs> really? It's just, <laughs> what is, who These people are going to make a million idea. dollars. You just know it because there is no justice in the world. And none, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. I'm, um, not, I'm not above signing them. It's true. Now they've got the library. They're inside the library. I look back at the pictures that I was sent mm -hmm. and said two of them were from the library and one of them was from the coffee shop, correct? That's right. I'm going to head over towards the coffee shop. Okay. Other side of the quad. Okay. Sure. Grounds for Coffee is still open. It's a popular meeting spot. I'm just going to observe people. Do you want to go back into stealth mode? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Another rouse check. Hmm? And a success. Hey, how about that? Hey, I don't get hungrier. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, make, go ahead and make the uh, check for the discipline. Yes. Do include your, uh, your, blood, your blood diet. So, to be your clear... Hands. Our hunger increases when we have more of the skull results than successes? That is one success. One success? Mm hmm Okay. That should be enough. Okay. Cool. Skirting the line on a lot of these rolls here. I believe in you. I believe in you, Jasper. <laughs> yeah. So, back over to the, uh, the library. Nelly? Yes. Well, I'm going to activate awe as well. So, I'm gonna walk up to Vaughn. So you are, uh, you are inhumanly alluring and friendly. Um, you're gonna be able to add your presence to any social skills involving persuasion or performance, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's free. What do you want to tell Vaughn? Uh, darling, uh, I love your hoodie. Who designed it? Uh, you know, it's from Target. It's from the, the, the campus store section. Hi. How are you? Hi, that hurt my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new form of aggravated damage. <laughs> Give take, me a well, second. You want to take a point of willpower off? That <laughs> <laughs> We've both been wounded you, uh, in our spirits. Target, you say? Uh, you look really familiar. Yes. Do I, do I know you? Uh, well, I'm whipping out my glasses and putting these back on again. What, what, kind, of, what kind of book? Do you want? I was uh, looking for uh, a medical book about anemia, perhaps. He looks suspicious immediately. <laughs> uh, you know, you're you're pretty and all, but um, how close are we? I don't know how close do you want to be. Uh, pretty close. I'm gonna put my like hand on his chest. Okay. He uh, leans forward across the reference desk and lets you touch him. Um, puts his hand on your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, you're you're gorgeous and all, but I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about this. What, what, what do you mean you don't want to talk about I this? I don't want to talk about it. Well, what's wrong, sweetheart? Uh, look, uh, the library's closing really soon. Maybe, maybe you should go, but could I get your number before you do? Uh, only if you tell me about this thing that you wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, make a manipulation plus presence roll. Mm. Mm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, and add your presence dice. Add, your, add the same number of dice as you have dots and presence to the roll. Yes. Okay. Uh, one, two, three successes. Three up. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, person you want to talk to is Annabelle. Anna, Annabelle? Yeah, yeah. Um, you want to talk to my friend Annabelle. Um, but don't tell her I said so. <laughs> Why is she so nervous about this? Well, it's it's really it's really complicated. So um, when am I getting your number? Uh, he pulls out his uh, he pull, pulls out his phone. Oh, he's ready sweetheart! To, ready to enter your you actually <laughs> thought that I was seeing. Oh, but see, we need this to find, is... we need to find out where Annabelle is first, and uh. then and then. Oh, she's she's always at she works at Grounds for Coffee. Grounds for Coffee. I. Text Jasper. I'm like, while well, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Annabelle so, grounds for coffee. Are you are you serious? No, <laughs> no number. No, no, no. How about I give you a kiss on the cheek? Yeah, Would he that help? His head expectantly. Yep. Mwah. All right. Is that better? No, but you know it'll do. So um, I text. Come back. here often. Mm, relatively, probably more than you think. Okay, I work um, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursday <laughs> nights here. And um, I also attend bar um, that, down the street at, wow. the, at, the, at the Roundup. What's your favorite drink to make? Uh, dark and Stormy. Dark, dark and Stormy. I don't think I've ever had that. What does that entail? Uh, it's dark rum and ginger beer and lime. You oh. love it. Get, stop on by. It's on, it's on the house. They're all, it's all in the house. I, I have a richer taste <laughs> for things. Uh, actually, I'm glad to see that you're feeling better. Uh, we're gonna go say hi to Annabelle, and yeah, don't don't tell her I said no. Anything. In fact, we're going to forget this all happened. But I <laughs> and was I'm, having fun. I'm gonna cloud his memory also. Oh. <laughs> his memory also. Yep. You're like a vampire or something. Uh, something like That's that. Very handy. We don't we don't make, leave a trail. Make it happen. Uh, four successes. As you leave the library, he's still shaking his head, trying to move the frozen glob of chili that's passing for his brain tonight. <laughs> you just have that effect on people. Y yes, darling, I do. That's good. Mm -hmm. Jasper, yeah, okay. are you heading to go to the coffee Talk shop about that later. ahead of them, or are you waiting ahead for them? Ahead of them. You're going to get there first. Yeah, I love that. going to get there first. As soon as they went in the library, I was on my way. Okay. <laughs> That's why the Venturi were in charge. Uh, That's why the Venturi were in charge. That's why the Venturi were in charge. Well, we'll see about that, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they can you be no a few minutes ahead of them. Okay. The you know, uh, Browns for Coffee is the uh, the only cafe that's actually on campus. Of course, mm -hmm. in the neighborhood around, there are others, but this is the most convenient. So it stays open late, and it's always pretty busy. Mm -hmm. And tonight is no exception. And here, finally, you do not have to listen to the guitar ah. and the saxophone. Good. It's blissful music. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if those are your choices. I mean, I'm going to go with music. All right. So I guess I'm going to find an out-of-the-way spot just to be, and then look for anybody who could be named Annabelle. Give me four dice again, please. Okay. That would be one success. Still riding the <laughs> still riding that line. <laughs> success, but still squeaking out the victories. Kind of the story of your own story life. Story of my life. Really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, story of your own life. That's a total of four, isn't it? Okay. So how would you go about finding someone named Annabelle if you don't know what she looks like? That's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look for anybody who may be sitting on their own or standing on their own, watching people, doing not doing anything to occupy their time other than looking at everybody else around them. In other words, you're looking for a vampire. I see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hold that thought. Going from the library to Grounds for Coffee, no stops along the way? Okay. Scanning the crowd. A couple of dozen students, a lot of them studying, big piles of books, papers, highlighters, post-it notes, or what passes for studying. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, students involved in deep conversations, some of them very, very serious, some of them very, very lighthearted, but you don't see anybody that you would think of as a predator. Shit. That's the time when you arrive. Through the doors, into the Muzak of the cafe. Hey, at least it's not what's happening out in the quad. <laughs> We should talk to the administration about playing some of our music in the cafe. Like, we can send them some MP3s. What's so wrong with the music? That's why you're never going to make it in this business. 
<laughs> Look here, Victor. Uh, Let's talk about no, this no, imitation no, suit you're wearing. No, stay, 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 imitation. Mm. It, exactly. Is, is it an imitation suit? No, it is not. <laughs> I paid an ex excessive amount. It's Egyptian cotton, thank you. And you're paying the wrong tailor then. Ooh. Would you two get your shit together, please? <laughs> you're, uh, fine. Mm. He's right. Business first. Fine. Uh, apparently she works here, so I look around. Do I see anyone that's like clearly serving drinks, clearly clearing tables? Well, actually, the person that you recognize is Luann. You remember hmm. the redheaded student, the uh, the sophomore from the medical report? Mm -hmm. She also works at Grounds for Coffee. Green leather jacket? Green leather jacket. She's behind the counter. Uh, I walk up to Luann and I say, uh, excuse me, is Annabelle working tonight? She looks at you. Um, yeah, she, no, uh, maybe. Um, and then she looks over your shoulder as though she's trying to attract somebody's attention without you seeing, but she's failing miserably at it. When she does, I give like the full swivel and I'm like, is that her? <laughs> I, I, Look, we're here to give her a scholarship for uh, the university. We wanted to give her a couple of questions and actually see her uh, place of work to see okay, if she qualifies. Okay, charisma for this. plus persuasion. <laughs> um, I rotate and I look that direction and I text him based on like that corner of the room. You're gonna try to text and swivel at the same time? Yeah, that's pretty amazing. You don't even have celerity. <laughs> um, I, I am keeping my eyes on them. So okay, mm -hmm. four successes. Four. Yes. Okay, scholarship. Okay. Um, that's great. Um, she'll be really thrilled because she's had some problems lately and mm -hmm. really, really used the money. It's yeah. a lucky this day. Is, I didn't realize they gave out scholarships in, in coffee shops, but... Yeah. Well, but we're oh, working okay. on it. We want to see whatever. her place of work first. Uh, oh, okay. She doesn't actually work here, but whatever. As you turn your head and look, and t what are you texting Jasper? Uh, I think Annabelle's over, like, it, roughly, the, like, if it's near a window, near a table, like, however, you kind of triangulate. Yeah, I'm like, it's, she's right. near the, Annabelle's near the restroom or something, yeah. What you see in the direction that Luann was looking is um, a young woman with uh, long black hair wearing a red leather jacket and uh, her head partially shaved. And uh, she's sitting at a, a table by a window and she's talking to another student, uh, a young man, who's um, got a blonde crew cut, and he's wearing a, um, a lacrosse sweatshirt. Uh, before I approach, uh, is there anything about her that says kindred to me? Hmm. It's going to be difficulty of five. This is really hard. Would so. you like me to help you? Always. Oh, darling. Um, I'm going to activate Auspex Sense the Unseen. Sense the Unseen lets you see things that are hidden or invisible, so you might pick up Jasper. Okay. But it isn't the same as heightened senses, mm -hmm. but let's do okay. this. Go ahead, and, go ahead and activate it, because there might be other things for you to see here. I say I will defer to my lady here, because mm -hmm. she's the perceptive one. Is your wits or resolve better? Wits. Go with wits plus aspects. Oh, <laughs> zero success. Yeah, just nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Complete failure. Complete failure. Might as well have stabbed yourself in the eyes with your beautiful fingernails. Well, we're not gonna go that no, far. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Could have been worse. Literally, could have been worse. It, it could have been <laughs> a lot worse. Um, so, are you sure you, that's what you want? Yeah. Well, okay, but we can't do that here. N no, of course not. It's okay, like, just well, in a couple of hours. You want to go back to, like, my place? <laughs> okay, yeah. That sounds okay. great. So, let, let's go. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, the person you believe to be Annabelle stands up, and so does the, um, the young man with the blonde crew cut and the lacrosse sweatshirt. They look like they're getting ready to leave. We should follow them. We don't want this in a coffee shop mm -mm. anyway. Yeah. I, I text Jasper. I'm like, she's leaving. We'll take her outside. 
Uh, um, Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Just, um, he let's kind of be discreet about it, right? And uh, pulls out a wallet and uh, throws a few bills on the table. Doesn't count them. It's like, yeah, okay, cool. Awesome, um, thanks. He, uh, he, with awkward chivalry, he offers you his arm. <laughs> <laughs> what a gentleman. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gentleman. On you. Yeah, should we go? Yeah. Okay. But, um, I mean, definitely we'll keep this on the down, though, and see if I know that you're... Oh, team and teammates and everything are going to talk. Oh, I don't think so. they would understand. Yeah. But but I do. Yeah. I understand. I know. I, I, know I get you do. it. You're I, different. I, I, I totally get it. I, I appreciate yeah. the position you're in. Um, I'm, I'm happy to help. Chris, you are awesome. Did you know that? You know, I, you, I've heard that before, but but it's nice. You can never hear it you. often enough, though. Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, arm in arm, they're going to exit the coffee shop. You are not interfering, I'm, is that right? I'm or? not interfering, but I'm going to tail them and slip out the door when before the door closes so I don't have to physically touch the door. Right. And we're going to give them, you know, okay. 15 seconds or so ahead and we walk yeah. out walk out also and sort of like, yeah. you know, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just walking uh, normally. Because uh-huh. otherwise the door would open by itself. Right. Yeah. It's like <laughs> electric man. <laughs> Annabelle? Exactly what can you make a roll for me, please? Let's go with wits, three dice, and mm, awareness with one die. So four dice, but add your hunger die in there. How we do? Uh, one success. One success? Okay. Shiver goes down your spine. You can't quite place it, but something's wrong. So you exit the coffee shop, arm in arm, with your uh, new friend. He's talking on excitedly about the lacrosse team's chances uh, this year. He's super excited for practice to uh, to start, and uh, and I think they have a real chance at, at taking the taking the state championship. Oh, absolutely! Absolutely! Yeah. Absolutely! <laughs> so, you know, how do we um, how do you, I mean, it's it's is it kind of. No, it's okay. I, it's it's completely hygienic and everything. I've got like oh, okay. a needle in a, in a bag and everything. It's not like whoa. Okay. I um, mean, if that's what you're, it's not, you're still into that. I'm I'm, I'm up for anything. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He looks a little nervous. No, I, it's okay. Don't be nervous. I just text Jasper. I'm like, as soon as they're like out of sight, like we're just looking for like a, a dark corner, basically. <laughs> so yeah. uh, he leads you outside the coffee shop. Um, Jasper, you're tailing with the unseen presence. Yes. You don't have that advantage. So no, we're just what are you doing? And you're not exactly and inconspicuous. No, not at dressed all. Nope. And dressed no. so well. No. We're just yeah. like talking. Well, that, that's up for debate about being dressed so well. But first of all, we can both be beautiful. You don't have to put me down to lift yourself up, okay? We can both. I'm just talking shine. about the suit. You are beautiful. The suit's incredible. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Wasn't designed by me. Right. Students turn their heads to look at you both. You get a couple of uh, long looks, especially you, Victor. People, hey, what's up? Yeah. people think they know who you are. Maybe you look familiar. Yeah. Um, a young man gets in your way and says, "Hey, hey, that last album, freaking awesome! I just wanted to. I mean, do you want a selfie? Want to get a picture? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Can we? Can we do that? Yeah, man. So Absolutely. he leaps right yeah. up, kisses yeah. his arm around I'm you. I'm just like West Side. Grins yeah, with big right. cheesy. Would grin. you like me totally. to take a picture? Yeah, totally. Oh yeah. Uh, you, um, no, no, you should be in the picture with I, us. I give him, I give I'll him. I'll take the picture, don't worry. Okay. I give him a card from the club. I'm like, come by later. Yeah. We're friends. Yeah. yeah. Girls Absolutely. get in free. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you get the picture. He goes on his way happily, and you've lost some ground on your on your target. Mm-hmm. Gonna We're have to hurry and catch up. That's oh, fine. It's fine. Okay. Jasper's on him. Jasper's on it, though. Not that you can see him. I have faith that Jasper's on it. Let me just do he a leads you. He leads you off campus. About a block away, where there is um, a modest apartment building, uh, fumbles with his keys for a few minutes, and unlocks the front door. Holds it open for you. You're so sweet. Thanks. Thanks. You know, I never really got how lacrosse works and stuff. Maybe you can explain it to me. Oh, it's totally cool. It's super awesome. He launches into a really unnecessarily detailed explanation of the finer points of lacrosse. Um, 
Yeah, he yeah, leads you on great. into the building and up the stairs. Jasper, you want to try to get in? Yeah. You're going to have to be quick. <laughs> I'll be quick. Dex and athletics. Dex and athletics. Before that door closes. Difficulty, uh, make it three. One, two, three, four successes. You are, have just amazing luck this evening. It's almost like you're good at this stuff. What? <laughs> Wait till I have to do other things. Mm. <laughs> so you make it in the door before it closes. You're about a, mi- a minute or two ahead of the, of the duo behind you. So they um, ascend a stairwell. Okay. And at the top, he turns left and with his keys, opens an apartment door. Okay, and you are cool with this, right? So he stops outside. Um, this, this, this is, this is, this is where we make sure, right? Yes. I mean, okay. I, I will be discreet, and I, I know that you will definitely be discreet. I just want to make sure that you're, you're still, okay with everything. Um, I'm totally into it. Okay. Yes. I want, awesome. I want to help. I want to. It, it really, really means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. All right. You can overhear this from yeah. your, your your vantage point in the stairwell. They enter the apartment and close the door. Okay. All right. And you hear the sound of a bolt being mm-hmm. shot. Click. Okay. So to be clear, you made it through the apartment gate, but not into the apartment. I'm not in no, the actual apartment. I'm in the hallway right In the now. hallway. Okay. So you enter the apartment ground floor door. Mm-hmm. You don't know where Jasper is, and you don't know where the... You don't know where your target is either. As soon as they shut the door and I'm locked outside, I want to text him where what apartment I'm at. Okay. Yeah. So he can direct you Be to the door. Yeah. Like uh, maybe like just like I'll I'll kind of stand like conspicuous a couple doors away, so <laughs> you know. And then I'm like, so how do you want to go in? Jasper's the concealed one. I mean, we can't let her hurt this kid. Not on not on our watch. What do you think? Why would you think she's? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, got it. Great. Uh huh. Do you have any Jasper. particular lock picking skills? I would like to attempt to pick the lock. <laughs> <laughs> you are particularly well suited to do so. Yes. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, Dex give plus you have larceny. larceny. All right. But there's a deadbolt. Yeah. Mm, this is a cheap, cheap modest apartment. He's uh, good at difficulty this. three. Oof, no. Wow. Um, that's one success with a lot of blank die. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, if you want to, if you think it's important, mm-hmm. you have the option of spending a point of willpower to re-roll any three dice. Now, if you do that, you can take superficial damage to your willpower. Mm-hmm. You don't have it to spend on something else. It depends on how important you think this is. <sighs> yeah, I'll burn one. Burn a willpower. Okay. So... Gritting your fangs, mm-hmm. flexing your disgusting now you've said fingers. Any dice, any th- up to any three. But I have to include my blood dice in that. You can't reroll hunger checks. Hunger. No, checks. I mean, uh, you can't reroll hunger dice. Okay, great. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> but he does not have to include the hunger dice. In normal dice. Right. Just normal dice. Normal Excellent. dice. Up to three. Excellent. Mm, two. Two successes? So yeah. That's three total, though, isn't it? Because you have uh, no, four. That's no, that's a it. total of two now. Total okay. of two. Uh, yeah, well, unfortunately, I'd... the lock resists your best attempts to pick it. You may have to break it down or knock on the door. Yeah. You're supposed to be good at this. <sighs> yes. It's, it doesn't always work. So inter- intera- obviously, interacting with physical objects removes Breaks, the effect yeah. of your No, I'm visible now. So he is visible and you can see him. I'm gonna, I'm like, we're going to try this the old-fashioned way. Okay. Meanwhile... He's in the middle of taking off his shirt when there's a knock on the door. Huh. Whoa. Hey, um, hang on. I'll, I'll find out. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's the landlord. Or I don't know. Can it, well, can it wait? It's the landlord. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wait, hang on. Uh, make yourself at home. There's stuff in the fridge. The, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, don't, okay, cool. Don't I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, a few moments later, the uh, the bolt slides back, and um, the young man who you were um, you were tailing opens the door. Yeah, totally He's back against his, the wall. Yeah, I'm around the corner. 
<laughs> you trying not to be seen, just yeah, out of, I'm, but I'm, not supernaturally, but not just supernaturally, out of, just, out of the line of sight. Yeah. So it's stealth? just Victor that he sees. Yeah, I do, but I'm not out of the peephole. But when he opens the door, he can mm -hmm. see me. Sure, he just opens. He doesn't even bother checking through the peephole. Sure, he opens it. Opens it right up. He's struggling to put his shirt back on. I'm a little busy. Well, he opens. Hey, you're it, not the landlord. He opens it all the way. Yeah, he I just walk opens past it him. wide open. Hey, stop! He tries to get in front yeah. of you. Uh, yeah. Do he's I? Gonna, he's do gonna I see try her? to push you out. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Do I see her? Do, you, do they see you? Or are you in the bedroom? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just sitting on the bed. Sitting on the bed. So you don't see her yet, but he's going to try to physically interpose himself between you and the sure. rest of his apartment. Sure, he's going to try to shove you. Sure, so this yeah, is he's a, he's like a lacrosse player kid. Hold on, but before he before no, it's an opposed role. Well, all right, it happens okay. at the same time. Okay, so uh, I need you to either dodge or get into the combat. So my fortitude doesn't affect this though right because i'm kind of like the immovable object yeah the fortitude would come into play if he would actually damage you right but he's just trying to shove he's just trying to shove you yeah. so it's an opposed strength plus brawl roll okay highest number of successes wins okay um if i wish to activate my by my blood potency how does so that do work? you want to do you want to use a blood surge to increase your strength your uh, ability? I'm asking, I'm not telling, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? Is that what you're wait, wait, asking? Just, uh, how would I go about sure. doing that? Um, Cause strength you, is not my forte. If you want an advantage, you can, um, you can call upon the power of your blood. You can rouse, rouse the blood, tempting the beast by making a, um, a check roll mm -hmm. with a hunger die. Um, of course, uh, you potentially could increase your hunger for blood. Um, but regardless, you will increase your strength by one die in the roll. And I would add, it, I would, I would increase it by another blood die, right? No, just a regular die. Okay. Well, I would like to do that. I okay. would like to activate my blood. Go ahead and make the rouse check. That is a uh, blank. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then I would like to increase my mm -hmm. physical strength. Just a messy, uh, just the skull. No successes. Just you know what? I'm gonna I'm going to spend my willpower point, if I may. You want to blow willpower and reroll? Because I would rather not splatter this kid. You can so. reroll up to three normal dice. Yes. Sorry. Oh. What did you do? What happened? <laughs> Uh, Still is it, nothing. Is it a messy just, critical? No, it is just uh, just a uh, single success. A single, single skull. Fail. Single skull. A bestial failure. A bestial failure. <laughs> oh. Let's play some vampire. Yeah. That's not doing well right. for us. That was after attempting to reroll, no less. Wow. I tried to fight what I am. So Chris got two successes. So he actually beat you on the contest of physical strength. He gets in front of you, he shoves you back a couple of steps, and he says, run, Annabelle. Chris. And you let the beast out. Does he come back out the door? Into the hallway? Yeah. No, he's still inside the apartment, okay. but so he, sho he shoved you back a couple of steps. And the beast is not having any of this. How dare he lay hands on your very expensive suit? <laughs> How dare he command one of the Ventru? It's not going to be pretty at all. You're going to go for him. Okay. Make a, uh, go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> can I hear this at all? You can hear what's going on. You can hear the sounds of a scuffle. So uh, go ahead and uh, make another uh, strength plus brawl check. Keep the augmented strength. Okay. Two successes this time. Your fangs are in his throat. Can I try and grab him uh. off of him? Okay, so many things happen at once. <laughs> Annabelle from the bedroom hears, run, Annabelle. The only I, way out of here is a window, so what do you want to do? I grab the lacrosse stick in the corner, mm -hmm. and I go run towards him. I hear they're made out of wood. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh. Jasper, from the hallway, <laughs> you hear, run, Annabelle, and then the distinctive sounds of an <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, and then there's a, a terrible scream, and then ah. Oh. I'm gonna flip around the corner and grab Victor. Victor. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pull Victor off. Yeah. Okay. Nelly, what's your intention here? Okay, well, I'm the third one back, so I'm kind of like 
You just want to stay out of the line of the arterial oh, yeah. spray? I'm, I'm trying to keep my eye on where Annabelle's mm. running mm. off to. Yeah, okay. So you want to make sure Annabelle doesn't get out of the apartment? Correct. Okay. And Victor, you're a little busy right now. So okay. Strength plus brawl. Strength plus brawl. He's not, uh, he's not in any position to pay attention to you, so I'm not going to give him a resistance roll right now. Two successes. Two successes. This isn't really my thing, yeah. How many hunger did you have at the time being? Uh, I, w I wasn't one. I, you wasn't my, one? My hunger had not actually increased. So fortunately, fortunately, Victor manages to grasp you by the shoulders and pull you physically off, Chris, before you can actually drink enough to slake your hunger, which is a good thing because the only way to get rid of your hung final hunger die is to kill your victim. So, what is wrong with you? Chris sinks to the floor and is bleeding and moaning and clutching his hands to his throat. The ecstasy of this, the kiss is over, and now he's in pain. You emerge from the bedroom, brandishing your lacrosse stick to find this person wiping blood, Chris's blood, from his mouth, and that, whatever it is, the most horrible thing you have ever seen looming over him. So we need, need to talk. Well, first off, I'm going to step into like actual. <laughs> you need to calm down. And then it's the uh, the gothic diva version of Morticia Adams in your in the apartment. Do you close the door behind you? Please. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Deadbolt. Chris is is he is he? He's, he's still kicking and moving, but he's in he's in terrible pain. We gotta help him. What you fix him? Ah, fine. And I do. And then I, I look you wanna over. Get down there yes. and get the blood in your face. What are you doing? Get away from him. We're cleaning up Calm your mess. Down. Breathe. Sit down. No. Annabelle, before your very eyes, the wounds, the puncture wounds that his fangs put in Chris's neck, completely vanish, as if they were never there. And Chris just moans, half comatose, half conscious, laying on the floor. How far is she from me? A few paces. Okay. Um. <laughs> Chris. Okay. Are you okay? Are you Annabelle? okay? Annabelle? Annabelle? I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Well, I felt better. Okay, I, you're... Making jokes, that's, that's a good sign. Just keep, just uh -huh. keep breathing. Just, think... just stay conscious, okay? Just stay conscious. Just contrary to present events, we're not immediately here to hurt you. Oh, don't frighten the poor child. Come here. We're going to sit down oh, on the couch. Oh. Chris flips over onto his hands and knees and tries to begin to crawl away from you towards the sofa. No, let him. You let him do it? Where is he going? Toward the sofa. Mm -hmm. S stay. Go, just go away. Just, just, just lie still for a minute, okay? Uh, go. Just lie still. Uh, it's right. gonna be okay. He it's sinks okay. back to the floor. You guys had better start talking right now. Are you going to hit me with that lacrosse stick? That depends on what you tell me and what you're gonna do next. <laughs> just don't move. Well, I wouldn't talk to him as such. Put the stick down. Come on. Well, I'm not gonna hurt you. Do you think I can actually hurt you? I, I mean, I assume you're like... No. Like... Like... What? Oh, come out with it already. What do actually, you think? And I pointed here at Chris on the floor, and I'm like, let's not have this conversation here. That's a very good point. Right. Why don't you do the thing? Yeah. yeah. So I kind of sit Chris okay? up, I and I look him in the eye, yeah. and I'm like, Chris, I'm going to need you to forget all about this. <laughs> you want to cloud his memory? Yeah. <laughs> Coming in pretty handy this evening. I since this is an unusual night for you. You're not accustomed to it. This isn't how I usually like to do business. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I don't like to admit it to myself. It's charisma press presence, correct? Mm -hmm. Sorry, a lot's happening. M many things are happening at once. Two successes. Two successes is enough for him to um, forget what has happened in the last minute or two. So I turn around away from him. <laughs> I look over at her and I say, 
What right. the hell is going on here? And who are you people? I just Annabelle, look at her are you and I okay? Say, and, say, hey, that's my lacrosse stick. Don't break that. Oh, uh, sorry. What happens next depends on you. We need to leave. Leave him here now. You okay? Uh, yeah. Is this really what you meant, though? Because I thought it would be different. What would be different? We can have coffee another time and, and chat. Here's your lacrosse stick. Thanks. Um, so, uh, I'll call you? Yeah. See you in Soch. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye. <sighs> mm-hmm. Weird. Bye, darling. Really weird. Bye, Chris. Yeah. I actually, uh, I text my driver, Eve, where we are, and I'm like, bring the car around. We're leaving. Right away, sir. Like, Annabelle. We're gonna answer all your questions. We just cannot do it here. Okay. Are you, are you guys gonna hurt me or? That depends. <laughs> Where? What? <laughs> Where are you having this conversation? No, uh, we leave, like we yeah, leave the apartment. The like, I'm so like, what? you're leaving the apartment. Are you walking with them, Annabelle? I haven't gone I'm, in front of her. I'm staying behind her. Right. It's still in the doorway. Haven't left the doorway yet. Well, I do the hair flip. Yeah. Come on, darling. There are better ways to um, meet lacrosse players if you want. Come. We'll teach you. I'll teach you. I'm better at it than they are. You've got blood on your suit, your shirt, your tie. <sighs> Not good. Annabelle. Sociology student Annabelle. Yeah. Are you dating a guy named Mark? Annabelle, I need you to make a roll, please. <laughs> Would you please roll wits and awareness? Difficulty is a one. Uh, two. You've seen him. You've seen a photograph of him. You've seen a photograph of him in the dorm room of a certain young man. Oh, it is her. Mr. Temple? <laughs> <laughs> she knows you? What? She's dating my son. Ah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. So who, but let me get this straight though. There's in the car, in the car, in the car. We'll talk in the car. We'll talk, we will talk in the car. Let's go. Does, does he know about no, and he will never know about this. We will talk in the car. Yeah. We're not gonna hurt you. We're not. We're not. We're not gonna hurt her. We're not gonna hurt you. I but didn't we do to anything. Just, yeah, you're the one with blood on your suit. I know, which is why we don't have blood on my suit. You're not wearing a suit. <laughs> it's a type of suit. <laughs> oh dear lord. Let's. Okay. Go. All right. All right. Let's go. Leaving the apartment building. Yes. Okay. For the wherever Eve's picking us up. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses on. It's effective. It's effective. Hair perfect. Yeah. It's Ooh. hard to see. It's hard to see your faces. Yeah. Um, out of the apartment building, out onto the street where the car is waiting. What kind of car is it? Uh, a large luxury SUV that won't get us sued for naming. Mmm. <laughs> I like it. A lar is it black? Of course. Are the windows with, with tinted? Incredibly tinted. Like, like there's some other like, kind. Like beyond legal tint. Right. <laughs> Dark. Okay. Tint. At the wheel uh, is a very attractive young woman with uh, long black hair wearing... Um, uh, which you would describe, I uh, guess, as um, sort of a, a mechanic's clothes. She looks like she might have come from uh, a workshop or um, maybe an automotive situation. You can smell the, the, the car oil and grease. Her hands are dirty as though she's been, you know, maybe messing with an engine. Mr. Temple, where do you want to go? Ebe, uh, in the car, please. Uh, we all hop in, and I'm like, um... Around the block, sir? Just away from here. <laughs> As we, when we finally, when all the doors are shut, I take off my hood. And you see there are dark veins running all up through my head and everything. Sorry. 
What? I just, it's rude. Sorry. Um, no, it's really not. <laughs> well, I'll oh, with this. This is really stupid. This is really, really stupid. Is there a name for what is happening? One one thing before we get to that question. I, I was following you for a little while. What have you been telling people uh, is a better question. Oh, uh, uh, just that I have a genetic disorder that's starting to manifest and that I need blood. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do if you can e edit Wikipedia properly. All right, as long as there are, you didn't use any Useful. words, maybe related to books, maybe related to things. Are you trying to say vampire? Oh God. <sighs> I, that's yes. not. I actually keep. That's not. I keep extra shirts like oh in the glove God. box, like shrunk wrap. Just for these occasions? Yeah, like so. You, like, does well, this we're happen to you often, Victor? <laughs> no, I mean, in round numbers, like. how many times a week have you been? More often than I would like. I see. I like to maybe, stay crisp. Maybe wear darker col colors? Yes. Yeah, yes. black is good, I hear. Yes. Yeah. I, I, um, <laughs> so you want to change while you're driving? Well, no, well, while well, Eve's driving. While Eve's driving. But I'm, yeah. Okay. New shirt, new tie. I mean, <laughs> Oh my God. Just, yeah. For my own edification, when we have situations like this messy critical, like generally how long does it take to come down? <laughs> you know, it's variable. It depends on the situation, the stress right. factors. But by now, uh, you should be coming back to yourself and regaining your usual aplomb. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, does Mark, so Mark doesn't know uh, how long have you been hiding this from him. Uh, I think he thinks you just don't. Like you haven't seen him in like a year, and no, we're gonna talk about Mark later. But I just, I had. Why did you do that to you Chris? Have yeah. you done this to Mark? Have okay. you fed on Mark? All of you. No, yeah. all of you. Before we get yeah. into all of that. Thank you, Jasper. Go ahead. So yeah, that. Yes, worked. please, Jasper. You have the con. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, yeah, don't reference. worry about it. Yes. So that word that you used. Don't use that word. It doesn't. We don't use it either. Vampire. Yeah, we don't. Mm. Really? That's not a thing. Really? It, I mean, it is a thing. It's a word, but it's not a thing. Look. <laughs> it's not our word. It's not our word. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Look oh, at me. No, no. Okay, I understand. What, what is the preferred term? I mean, there are a couple, you, but the one we usually we... use is kindred. 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 Okay. Yeah. I mean, don't go around saying it, but that's what we call each other. Or licks, if you're not feeling particularly nice. Okay, all right, um, Kindred. Yeah, now look. Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Eve continues to drive smoothly around Hollywood. She takes mostly side streets to keep off the, out of the traffic. Um, Who? She, <laughs> just keeps going until you tell her otherwise. Yeah, just <laughs> drive casual, Eve. <laughs> We're having a moment in here. You can hear her eye was rolling. <laughs> like, I'm... who is your sire? My, what? Your, um... Know, Maker. Who, who did this? Who embraced you? Your vampire daddy. <laughs> My vampire daddy. I thought you said that. I thought you just said that. I'm using words you word. understand. Great. <laughs> Great, great, great. Do you think uh, she knows what sire means? I don't. Well, there was no. A, thank you. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the uh, reasons there have been these uh, flu-like symptoms that we've heard so much about around the campus is because you've been feeding. Yes. Yes. But okay, wait, no, no, this is fine. You didn't you didn't say vampire, you got permission, you haven't killed anybody. This is good. We can we can do this. This is good. Yeah. We we have to take her to the Why Baron though. The, we have to take the, her to the who? Baron. The uh, Baron? Uh, uh not yet. You're putting me on. Our boss. Your boss too. Yeah. I don't You're have on the, Oh, you got a boss. Now. You got a boss. Annabelle, no. you are, uh, your phone rings. It's, it's Eleanor's ringtone. Okay. Um, 
Who's that? Um, what what would her ringtone be? It's um, it's our song. Okay. Um, hang on. I need to just all of you be quiet. I need to take this. Um, hey babe. Hey hey, are you um are you done? Are you coming back? Um, no. I uh, there were. Bella, are you okay? No, no, I am not. Uh, some. What's going on? I'm in on? a car with. Where are you? Some people. <coughs> <coughs> Mark's dad. I met Mark's dad. That's hey, Mark's dad. Yeah. Uh, hold, uh, How Mr. close Temple? are we to her? Yes. Jasper. Mr. Jasper. What? Get to Jasper. I'm gonna. Oh. I ripped the phone out. Hey. <laughs> Do you want to try to stop him? Yeah. Okay. It's an opposed roll, so. Uh, let's go, let's make it a brawl. So strength and brawl for each of you. And potence, if relevant, right. <laughs> if relevant. <laughs> it's not really a contest of strength. Uh, uh, so strength plus brawl. Strength good. plus brawl. That is four successes. Okay, Annabelle, if you can beat four successes, you can have your phone back. I cannot. He's got I, He beat me by one. He's got your phone. What do you do with up. it? He hung up. Uh, One of the very first things you need to know is we don't talk to people about this. We don't talk about this. You don't tell anybody? And no! Also, no, you can't tell me what to do. I think we can. N no, yeah. you can't. Listen. I am a grown ass woman and you are a deadbeat father. If sir. Whoa. The Baron. Sir, Whoa, shall I call fired. ahead? fired. Very well. Apart we might just take the long you. route. It's going to take some time. It's bad traffic on Sunset. Good. You, can well. I handle this? Are you guys, sure. Are you guys Why done? Not? Wonderful. Woman to woman. Talk to me, darling. Grown ass woman to grown ass woman. Thank you. You're welcome. What you're experiencing is quite the tragedy, and I understand. We all went through it. Yeah. yeah. Fucking sucks. Yeah. Feel that. It's rough. Yeah. Everything that you've ever known, it's gone. Oh, great, okay. Good talk, good talk, good talk. But the good part about it is, we still have to keep face. So you get to go out and do what you like to do under the moonlight, but you can't tell anyone your secret. You don't have people that you all about is what what is the point well, of I'm living if you don't have somebody to share it, <laughs> it with we're talking about it now do you feel any better um i'm getting a couple of answers so a little bit but also you know things are very confusing so no i don't know it's about kind of a it evens out what, i guess what let's let's try and put this in a way that uh, you as a student would mm. understand think about it this way you being what you are have people you love, right, in your life. Then people, other people like us, who may not like you so much, find out you have other people in your life that you love. What do you think happens to them? You wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't care. Other people Dear, might. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Now you understand why you haven't seen me hanging around my son, because the last thing I need is someone trying to get to me through him. Why would somebody? Because we, as in kindred, most of the time tend to not like each other. This level of cooperation is unusual. Yes, well, when you work for the bar Baron, it happens. We also, I mean, hey, plus side, as long as you don't, as long as you don't do anything stupid, you get to live forever, yay! <laughs> yay! Mm. I'm almost 70. A lady doesn't speak her age. They're older than me. Jasper, <clears throat> what did you do with Annabelle's phone? It's in my pocket. Okay, I know that you um, hung up. Yes. You left it on? Or did you turn it off? I left it on. Left it on? Rings again. It's your song. Now, let's move this over and don't tell her, please. And it wasn't Mark's dad. 
Very important. I'm not going to lie to my girlfriend. We girlfriend? Wait, what? Yeah, you... Oh, right. You haven't talked to Mark in a year. Great, great, great. Hey, sweetie. Hey, hey, I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. I, love, huh. I need... I need you. Oh, I am... I am your... I am so yours. Forever. Forever. Yeah, now what's going on? Are you... Are, are you okay? You sound awful. I... Yeah. sound it, upset. It's been... It's been a rough night. Well, come home I'm, and... And talk to me about okay, it. Okay, um, I... I'm gonna be out for... Like a couple more hours, out? maybe. What are you doing? I just... I... Fine. I might no no, no 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 no. It's okay. Look, just just trust me. I I may be getting some answers about about the thing, okay? Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Right? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, it okay. Be, look, I get it. I get it. I understand. Yeah. You you do what you have to do, babe. Okay. I'll be I'll be here. Call me if I if, if you need anything. I'll leave my phone on. Okay, I love just you. Just be careful. Okay. I need you. I will I'm yours. Forever, babe. Okay. Forever to kill. Seriously? Have you told Mark about the thing? No. I need you to understand something very, very clearly. The place we're going, if you repeat in front of them that she knows about a thing, she's dead. Everyone she knows is dead. Anyone she might have texted is dead. So you're gonna have to learn from this exact second how to keep a secret. There's a little show we have to put on. You might call it a sort of masquerade that we all have to live into, that none of this is real. Never in your life did you think this is real, and it has been the entire time. So learn to lie to your girlfriend if you want her to live. Or if you wanna live. That too. Bonus, you get to go out in front of people. Just saying, there's a bright side. You don't look like that, there is an upside. I didn't always look like this. I can't believe you let him talk to you. I always looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> you always will too, right? <laughs> yeah, great, thanks. Eve's taking I, the long route into Hollywood. Mm. Uh, there's a I, lot of traffic on Sunset, so she's gonna go all the way around. Glad you could all, all I'll joke about this. This is Well, we've good. been this way for a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We've gotten used to it. So, we're on the way to meet some very important people that literally will decide your fate. Mm. So, do you have any questions you'd like to put to us before we get there? <laughs> I know it's a lot, but here we are. Why am I always hungry and uh. What I mean, where do I start? Like, what happened, and and who who are these people, and why do they think that they can be my boss? What? what? So you How don't, did you find me? So and you don't know who we call it embrace, but you don't know who your sire is, your creator, your maker. Sire means the person who made you what you are. Yes, you don't know who that was. What do you remember? I. What did they look like? What were you doing? I was. I was closing up at the coffee shop and there was, I, I think it was a man. I, I can't be sure. I just heard a voice and then I felt, and it felt so good. But then the rest of the night is like a kaleidoscope and I just remembered little snatches of things and I remember his voice. I smell, I remember smell of, of it was it citrus or, or pine or something. I just, I know it if I'd smell it. And, and then there was a room and, and there was a young man in it, in the corner. He was young, young. And the voice in the, through the door said that it, it was a snack. <laughs> and so I, I was so hungry. <laughs> I don't remember if anything happened or what. I just remember there was a high window and I got out of it. <laughs> and I just I ran in it. And I go, oh, I thought it was home and I went home and Elle was there. <laughs> Else. 
Annabelle, the tears that you're crying, you realize with dawning horror are not tears. <laughs> oh my god! What is what is happening? You no, know, it's it, it's <laughs> it'll happen. Oh my god! I hand you a handkerchief. <laughs> or that. <Or> that. <laughs> now look. So I guess <clears throat> in the most base way I could put this, you're dead. You died, that's why you're cold, that's why she felt you being cold. That's why you're crying blood right now, because you don't have any other fluid in your body. What, what we are, what all of us are, is hunger. Yeah. Five minutes to the Baron, sir. Sweetheart, as a grown ass woman, you need to cry as a river, build a bridge, and get over it now. Otherwise, you're gonna have to face the Baron like this. You don't wanna do that. And this is not a safe place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, five minutes? For what it's worth, okay. I personally think <laughs> we're the essence of humanity. I think we're the essence of the passion and the strength and the beauty and the power that makes sure. humans humans. Yeah. Okay. That Personally. Happens. That's the way let me, this. Let me ask you something. Do you, do you kill people? Did we kill that boy in his apartment? No. I'm going to say, I don't, I don't, I don't kill people. You, from what you told us, your sire was nicer than mine. He left you something to eat. Mine didn't. So, bonus. But, you can go your whole life, or unlife, without killing a single person, if you're good at it. You don't have to. But, you will have to live with always being hungry. The only way to not be hungry, at least for a little while, is to kill somebody. It's the only time you're not hungry. The final, final beat of the heart is the only thing that fills us for long. We're there, sir. Shall I uh, park? Yes, please. So, let me tell you as quick as I possibly can. We have our own government. We have our own rulers. The person we're going to meet is the person that rules this area of Los Angeles. Be as respectful as possible, because if you offend them, you will die, and we cannot stop it. How am I supposed to know what offends them? Just keep your mouth polite. shut. Yeah. Talk to them like they're a loaded weapon, because they are. And just, if they ask you a question, answer it, but don't talk to them. Just let them do the talking. Yes. Short as possible, yes and no, respect. Don't look them in the eye. Respect. Okay, respect, yeah. don't look them in the eye. Uh, let them you might want to do a little bit of a bow as well when you see them. Are you just, serious? Just, just that, that, don't do that, don't do that. Follow our leads. Okay, all right, okay, she's, okay, she's okay. Die. She's, all right, okay. She's so gonna all right, die, okay. and I'm not just, this. okay, Mark's not gonna forgive me if you die. That's, I want you to know, I'm vouching for you for the sake of my son. He's told me good things about you. Please do not get yourself killed. Did you tell me you had a kid, by the way? Oh. Did, no! Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I guess just you guys it. Right. keep. Just yes, we're ready. Chris. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Oh. Respect. Yeah, head down. Okay, bow. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This seems like a really good place to end the second scene, take a short break, and when we come back, we'll talk to the Baron. <laughs> Welcome back to our chronicle, L.A. by Night, Chapter 1, Mortal Stakes. If you're just joining us, you're watching Vampire the Masquerade, 5th edition, with our vampire cast. And in part two of tonight's episode, the vampires have just arrived at the headquarters of somebody they call the Baron, with a brand new fledgling vampire in unwilling accompaniment. 
Baron Abrams, Isaac Abrams, puts his headquarters in the very living, beating heart of Hollywood. His office, you've been here before, Hollywood and Highland, craziest part of town, right next to the Chinese theater. Thousands of tourists out on the street on a Friday night. An absolute riot of sensations, colors, sounds, scents. It's almost overwhelming. And that scent, the warm, delicious scent of fresh blood just waiting under the skin. Yours for the taking, if the beast has its way. This is where you have to negotiate and navigate your way through the people. Most of them don't have any idea what you are, except some of them react as though they've seen you before, maybe the two of you look a little glamorous. But here in the heart of Hollywood, everybody's famous for a few minutes. And nobody's really sure if you are who you look like or if maybe you're one of those people who are dressed up and are, uh, are making a few dollars on the side by impersonating Victor Temple or maybe a famous movie star or a fashion model. So no one interrupts you as you make your way through the crowd. Jasper, Nelly, and Victor, you've all been here before, so you know how to get to the Baron's office. You know that you have to go to the very top level of the Hollywood and Highland uh, Center. You've gotta go around the escalator, past that weird statue of the, the, the winged thing, whatever. No one seems to know exactly what that is looming over Hollywood. Um, you need to go to a particular elevator. You need to ring the bell twice and twice only. You need to skip the first car and wait for the second. And even though you pushed up twice, it takes you down. Annabelle? This is fine. <laughs> so we're probably already being monitored, but we're just going to introduce you to the boss. Be cool, and this will be the first day of the rest of your unlife. I don't know when to use that one. And don't forget to bow. Um, <laughs> just okay. respect. Respect. He will use every... Thing you can think of. Every joke, every pun will be used by that man over there. Just get used to it. Dad yeah. jokes. Oh, oh, wow. I mean, you're dating his son. <laughs> Not in here. <laughs> I like, like, I like, I like motion towards like the the, the case elevator have, camera. I have, I have to make a note. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Hmm. What could possibly go wrong? Secret secrets. It's the elevator stops opens and you find yourself in a long vacant corridor. Two men, mortals, you've seen them before, greet you. They're wearing uh, dark track suits and they have rather vacant expressions on their faces. They nod to you respectfully and uh, indicate that you should follow them. Victor, is Eve still with the car, or did you tell her to go someplace else? Historically, is she accustomed to accompanying us, or is she accustomed to waiting with the vehicle? She's accustomed to following her employer's instructions. Then I would ask her to wait for the wait with the car. Wait with the car? Yeah, he was with the car. Got it. I don't. I don't need anyone. Any more people hearing more things tonight than already have. Okay. The two security guards uh, lead you down the corridor. At the very, very end is. A very familiar door. One of the guards opens it and ushers you inside. Annabelle, this place looks like it could be a movie set from the 40s. It is uh, unbelievably historically posh. It has overstuffed leather couches and easy chairs, big potted ferns and palms, a lot of brass, a lot of glass, a lot of lighting design to make people look their very best. A lot of mirrors. Inside, sitting behind a very large mahogany desk, uh, 
is what appears to be a middle-aged man with uh, strong, handsome features, um, like an old-time film star would have, what was considered handsome 50, 60 years ago. Uh, he stands up from behind the desk, nods at you all. <laughs> Nellie, great to see you again. Darling, it's always a pleasure. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Top of the pops. Top of the pops. Victor, looking sh... Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. It's fine. How are you keeping? As well as can be, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Jasper. Nice to see you, too. Nice to see you. And who do we have here? We have a new visitor to your domain, sir. Bow. A new visitor to my domain. I'm Annabelle, and I would like some answers. Or that. Sir. Would you indeed? <sighs> hmm. Where'd you find her? Uh, she was on the campus of Griffith College. She has not breached the masquerade, but she has not been taught our ways. And so we wanted to bring her to introduce you formally and find out how you would like us to proceed with her uh, education. She does not know her sire. She doesn't know anything. Is that true, Annabelle? You don't know the one who made you? No. Annabelle, when did this happen to you? I don't know, what is it, Friday? I have no idea. Yes, it's Friday. Nine days ago? I see. You've been busy. <laughs> I expect you'd like some answers. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's trade. I'll answer your questions. If you'll answer one for me. Okay. What did they tell you about me? Thought I was supposed to bow to you? <laughs> I see. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to bow to you, was I? Great, cool, all right. Um, that you are the big boss? That's pretty much it. I have a lot of questions and I got a lot of not much. So. Everybody have a seat. Make yourselves comfortable. You too, Annabelle. <laughs> My name is Isaac Abrams. I am the Baron of Hollywood. I know how it sounds, but that's the title we use. Also seem to have become the Baron of the Valley as well recently, <laughs> which I'm really not all that enthused about, Great. but it's just extra work. We'll figure that out later. You've met my associates. These kindred have uh, rendered very effective service to me in the past several times. And in return for their um, help, I have given them control over Griffith College, where they met you. Control? Mm, it's their domain. They're supposed to keep it free of trouble. So... You answered my question truthfully. What do you want to know? I guess... Just any, any, anything? Why... Why, why did I... Who did this to me? I don't know, but I intend to find out what was done to you was wrong. And whoever did it must be found and punished. Even among the movement, the anarchs, that sort of thing isn't done. Okay. Well, at least not in my barony. Not now. Not with the, not with the Inquisition breathing down our necks. There was a time when we embraced rather freely, almost casually, uh, but not anymore. It's too dangerous. So I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm going to help you find out. 
Great. Okay. I don't know what uh, embraced anarchs or inquisition is, but I guess mm. I can probably get like a glossary or something later from these people. Uh, um, huh, huh. Okay. We don't have <laughs> a textbook or a primer, but we do educate, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. Great. Okay. What um, else do you want to know? Uh, how accurate are Interview with a Vampire mm. and Queen of the Damned? Uh, the we did a lot of research, and there was a lot of confusing information, and, like, uh, I did wake up, like, half in the sun, and it really hurt, but... Annabelle, uh, who is we? <sighs> we did a lot of research. Who is we? Oh, I, I was... I, I was just like watching movies with friends and stuff, mm. but they don't they don't know anything like you want to lie to him? Yeah, are there any candles on the table by the way? Candles yes. they are, but they are not lit. okay. You want to lie to the baron? Yeah mm. yeah um, I, I well. How do you want to do it? Do you want to be evasive? Do you want to use your natural charm? Do you want um, I would to... like to uh, activate awe. Ah, I see. <laughs> okay. It's, you know, worked on other s students before. Sure. It's free. There's no rouse yeah. check for you. So <laughs> It might work. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I'm going to roll for the Baron, and you're going to build your, your pool. Well, Make we'll sure to add your hungry die. We'll see you later, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Uh -huh. So it's it's gonna be charisma plus presence. Charisma plus, plus presence. Oh, and okay. whatever your blood is. And yeah. your okay. charisma. Hunger, rather. Plus. Sorry, hunger. Uh, presence. Okay. Ready? You do, you oh, do wait. need. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Got to have the hunger die. Six. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to use a willpower. You're going to spend a willpower point. Yes. You can reroll up to three normal dice, not the hunger die. Four. So close. So close. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll come back to that later. In the meantime, I need to make a phone call. Why don't you talk amongst yourselves and um, explain a few things about our condition to your new friend. After all, you're going to be in charge of her education for the foreseeable future. What? Excuse me. I'll be back after I've made my phone call. He turns around <laughs> and exits the beautiful room <laughs> through another door. Okay. 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 First off, no. Why would you res respect? Respect. I don't owe him or you guys anything. You don't know you. Like this happened to me, and nobody's giving me answers. I'm gonna kill her. Like She's, it seems to be has this I'm whole political her. system that I don't understand. Like, what he. You seem reasonable. Like, what am I supposed to do? How, why do you follow their orders? Why do I follow who? His orders. Yeah. I follow his orders because if I don't, I get left in that sun that hurts so much. That's why I follow his orders. I work with them because if I don't, I get introduced to the dawn. I do a lot of things so I get to keep living. Why do you accept that? You don't have to accept it. Would you uh, like to do the alternative? We can show you right now. And speaking as someone that has been feeding, I think you understand the need for self-preservation that flows through all of us. So if you want to preserve yourself, get it together. It's a game that we all play so that we get 
to keep doing this. Talking, living, walking. Seeing our loved ones from afar. Well, some of us. From afar. I told you if they find out, if anyone were to know anything, that person's life would be forfeit. Therefore, it is important that none of us ever tell anyone anything. The Baron returns through the door that he exited from a few moments ago. Sorry. Sorry, had to take that call. Where were we? Business is business, business first. The films, I love films. I was in the biz, you know. Still am in a way, but uh, more indirectly now. Mm. Speaking of which, um, I've got a proposal for you later. A new property I think you might be interested in. Absolutely. These investors, but we'll, uh, we'll cover that. Yes, sir. In the meantime, uh, you have arrived on the scene at a rather awkward time for Los Angeles. As I'm sure your new friends will be happy to tell you later, this city was once uh, controlled by our faction, Mm. Anarchs, and a good name for us too. The movement goes back hundreds of years, to the 15th century actually. No, I'm not that old. You don't look it. Thank you. Times are difficult. And the Camarilla, another faction of vampires, a sect, if you will, has decided that uh, it would like to take back what it lost back in the 40s. I just got off the phone with uh, Therese down in Santa Monica. There's some disturbance, I don't know. um, She said there was a wild animal, a cougar or something, running around at the docks. I'm going to loan her some people to check it out. Things are a mess. Nobody's heard from McNeil in forever. Rodriguez is just sitting downtown, refusing to get involved, even as the jackbooted thugs of the Camarilla breathe down our necks. Is there anyone you would like us to motivate? Well, I would like some answers. What I'm hearing is that uh, Vannevar Thomas has left his seat in San Francisco and has set his sights on this city, including my Hollywood, and that he's brought his whole court with him. Word is they've abandoned San Francisco. Have we retaken it? They haven't abandoned it to us. No one seems to know what's going on. In the meantime, We can't afford to have uh, strays. But until we know who committed this act, I'd like you to stick around. That's very gracious of you. Yes, it is. I don't have to. But I think that we'd all be intrigued to know just who you really belong to. So, my friends, meet your new pupil. You have the rare privilege of being her teachers, her educators, her saviors. Because if she learns, everybody's happy, including me. If she doesn't, I guarantee you nobody will be happy. In particular, me. So, I'd like you to take her to see the witch. By the intake of breath, I, I, I take it that that's not a good... No, that's Clan Tremere, they'll explain. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> totally fine. I've mm-hmm. made arrangements. Griffith Observatory. Tonight. Now. T- t- Soon. T- oh. You object? This Never. should be outstanding. Yes. Yes. You object? Yeah. No, no, I do not object, sir. Not, mm. not at all. I just that would surprise me. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, Victor, Victor. Don't worry. Um, sir. I've asked her just to find out a few things about our friend Animal. She has no reason to be curious about you, does she? 
No, sir. I, I just like to keep things uh, calm and smooth. Calm and smooth. Yeah. <laughs> calm and smooth. <laughs> calm and smooth. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Before we uh, say goodnight, Annabelle, is there anything else you'd like to know? I don't generally answer a lot of questions like this, but I'm feeling particularly I generous. How do I go back? What do you mean? Back to campus? <laughs> no. Um, oh, she's so I, young. I, I, she's so young. <laughs> Let her speak. <laughs> Nellie. Let her speak. Go how back. Do, how do I go back to being human? Hmm. That is a question that many of us have asked over the decades. I'm very sorry to tell you that you can't. At least, there is no method that is proven. One hears things, rumors. There is something called Golconda. I don't know much about it, but uh, some kindred believe that if you can reach that mythological state, there is a way back. You'll have to ask other kindred who are better educated in that particular um, philosophy. Okay. I've heard it said that uh, some kindred who manage to uh, slay their sires quickly enough can sometimes find the way back. <laughs> Even more incentive for you to cooperate. Okay, I'm not feeling generous anymore. So. Sorry. Good luck. And uh, report in before sunrise. I want to know how it goes. Yes, sir. Do. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Enjoy your evening. You are left to find your own way out. I'm assuming you leave. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Directly. <laughs> Not sticking around. No. Back no. to, no, back no, to no, the no. car. No. Yeah. Sure. No. no we're heading. Unseen we're, presence. Maybe hang out in the barren. Nope. No. Closet. No. no we're we're like, gonna no. get to getting. Yeah. <laughs> like Bye. Okay. I like living. Yeah. Ish. I, yeah. <laughs> Unliving. Yeah. No. I, I don't. I don't even say anything. Like on the way back to the car. <laughs> like we just. Just go. Mm-hmm. Back out into the Hollywood night. <sighs> September is still warm. The night is almost sultry. Feels good on your undead, cold skin. And there's that scent again. All those thousands of people and all the riot of color and sound pressing up against you as you make your way out of the elevator and back to the parking garage where Eve is waiting. Although as we're moving through the crowd, I do lean over to you and I say, it's not so terrible once you find your place in it. You just have to learn the way it works. Don't you miss Mark? I see Mark all the time. What are you talking about? He says he hasn't seen you for a year. Yeah, he says that. Oh my God. Oh my God, you did the... <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Do I need to do it to you? Can you? I can I know that lot. wasn't a threat, I was just, I, I'm curious. Can you actually? How do you know I haven't already? Oh my god. Yeah, get in the car. Thanks. <laughs> Jasper. Four dice. Oh. Include your hunger. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what could go wrong? Right. What am I doing? There. <laughs> Six dice. <laughs> yeah. You like a smoke bomb. One success again. Hmm. <laughs> Five times in a row. Yep. <laughs> okay. So you're slow. Okay. You saw it. Duly noted. Fates are smiling upon you. Yeah. I don't know if I would go that far. <laughs> but um, we'll see. At least yes. on someone. Over it's here, true. it's like. It's true. Yeah. Any stops between elevator and the SUV? Not for me. There's not. No. He said, go see the witch. We're going to go see the witch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No worries. So, uh, Eve is waiting for you. Sir? Yeah, well, Griffith Observatory. Sir? Would Eve know? Have we been there before together? Probably at least once. 
Yeah. I give her the address, and I don't explain it anymore. She uh, looks it up on the GPS. She looks in the rearview mirror at all of you. Her eyes linger on Annabelle. She shrugs, and she sighs, and you realize she's breathing. She's not kindred. She puts the car in gear and drives. Slow getting out of Hollywood and Highland. A lot of traffic. So that all that there was not uh, awful, so you're still alive. Yeah, Great. I think it went rather well. Uh, you're welcome. It's... Just don't use the word we again. At all, ever. Yeah, that was. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he definitely caught that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So, this whole witch thing we're going to go do is because of that we. Now, look. You tell her. Okay, so. Who's the witch? Okay, look. Uh, there's a reason I look like this and they look like that. Well, there are several reasons. I still think you're beautiful, man. Thanks. The veins, it works. Now, in kindred society, there are what we call clans. Okay. These are vampires. Oh, not vampires. Sorry. <laughs> You've got right. me saying it now. I know, yeah, right? It spreads. It's it just, infectious. Uh, yes. it just rolls off the tongue. It's mm -hmm. like, think of us as bloodlines. Yes. Okay. Different things. So, like, for different. Different teams. A little bit, yeah. Mm. But not. They're not. Each clan isn't necessarily on its same team. They don't all work together. But. No. Different abilities. Things like that. Sure. Different looks. I am, for better or worse, what's called a Nosferatu. I know what that is. No, it's not. You do that. not. Mm -hmm. You do not. No, you don't. <laughs> oh. There's a. There's a reason he's called that. As the SUV turns northward and begins to head toward Griffith Park, Eve clears her throat. Sir, I think we're being followed. Did I lose them? Um. Uh, Attempt to, yes, casually, mm -hmm. though. We don't need to have to bribe any cops tonight. Lose them casually, sir. Ideally, yes. Bribe cops. Well? Car accelerates. Not fast enough to, uh, to lurch you out of your seats, but uh, she definitely speeds up and begins making faster turns. It's so unsurprising. Nellie, would you do me a favor? Would you roll five normal dice, please, and tell me what we get. The unfortunate, unfortunate part about your situation is this. We don't know what clan Thank you belong you to. Because even though each clan has its own abilities, they aren't necessarily all the same. Okay, um, well, I can run pretty faster. I can... Um, I've got good balance. I can, mm -hmm. I'm a little more charming than normal. I was oh. actually pretty charming when I was alive, too. <laughs> you um, basically described a cat. Or just a very gifted human being. So we don't know. Or any of us. Nellie, five dice again, please. Another S hairpin turn, faster this time. So, uh, this would... No, no, please, you continue. Oh, um, oh, this oh. This person we're going to see, the three reason crits. she's called a witch. <gasps> so three criticals? Yeah. So two of the, uh, one pair counts as a critical yeah. success, so yeah. that's um, four, five, five successes. So it's a total of five, right? Five successes, yeah. yeah. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. So vamp, uh, <laughs> finally, kindred yes. are real. Yes. Witchcraft is real, then. Well, in a way, it's just something that these particular ones can do that's... Kind of. Sorcery. It's not like, oh. Is like, that the word you all that use? Guy. Sorcery? Thou, thou, There's thou, that book thou. about that boy with the, the thing. Harry Potter? Oh, jeez. Is it like? It is not at all like that. It's not No, here's what you need to understand. All okay. the movies, okay, great, look at me. Look great, at me. I'm going to okay. tell you something important. Just let me have oh. this. Don't dad out. <laughs> don't dad out. Don't. Don't. 
Hey, you told us you were a dad. I didn't. She did. Okay, so <laughs> we, the movies, we make the movies. We own Hollywood. We tell a half of a half of an eighth of our stories just to sprinkle a little bit in the consciousness. Oh, my God. So vampire movies are propaganda. More of no, 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 it's a cover misdirection. Up. The masquerade that you talked about. So that when you tell someone, I saw a Nosferatu, they'll and say. Before she turns and looks at me, I'm gone. Just with the <laughs> look of shadows. Yes. Yeah. You're gonna be unmoving in the car? Yeah, I just sit. He was there a moment ago. Magic. People will think you're crazy. Okay. That's what I. Oh thinking. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I think we've lost them. Excellent. Uh, Excellent work. Just keep an eye out, just in case. Maybe still take the long way to Griffith. Yes, sir. Just in case. So, would you like to explain where it is that we're going? What's happening? Well, we are going to Griffith Park to see another clan uh, that has an air of mystery about them, no? They are known as the Tremere. Tremere, okay. They uh, dabble in magic, much like that movie that you seem to think that you know all about, except for they use something very vital to our kinds of people. Any guesses what you think they use? Just tapped his artery, so I'm assuming it's blood. Uh, how much? Depends on what they're doing. Okay. All right, It. this is... D Macbeth. Remember the Macbeth? Double, double, toil and trouble? Yes. That. Think that, that. Okay. Not right. Harry Potter. Oh, excuse that. me while I make another note. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> great, great, great. That's okay. gonna go well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean. They are not that, it, it, anyways. I just need to parse this in, you know. Mm -hmm. The SUV that I can. begins a steep okay, okay. incline into Griffith Park. Normally the park would be closed at this time of night, but somebody must have known you were coming because, uh, Gate is open and Eve drives right on through and up into the dark, dark hills above Hollywood. What a coincidence. No, that's not at all suspicious, right? Well, they knew we were coming. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. A few moments later, you've reached your destination. So, Annabelle, again, you're smart, you're tough. Thank that's you. all well and good. Do not lie again. There are some of us that can see through you. You just said that I have to lie about... To people, to mortals, yes. Not to each other. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. And there's a difference between lying and just not mentioning your girlfriend. Okay. They have ways of tracking, you know. Yeah. Some of the old ones say they're all watching us through our cell phones. I don't believe that, though. I don't think that's a thing. But still, you should just assume you're being listened to all the time. I mean, that's just I a, mean you, yeah. you really Jesper, don't you didn't just think about phone. that? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. I'm sure there's, like, some, like, dude at, like, Virginia or something. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, mine's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Griffith Park Observatory. <laughs> Griffith Park Observatory. <laughs> Yeah. Beautiful Arts Echo building overlooking Los Angeles up in Griffith Park, which is a vast expanse of trees, grass, boulders, steep ravines, hills. It's the closest thing to wilderness that Los Angeles gets. They even say that there are cougars roaming through the park. The building is dimly lit. At this time of night, it's closed. And yours is the only vehicle in the parking lot. Up here, away from the light pollution, you could actually see the stars. Ebe cuts the engine. Says, we're here, sir. I actually leave the lights off, but the engine on, just in case whoever was on our tail comes back. Yes, sir but we'll be inside. She does as you've asked her to do. <sighs> right, let's go. Okay. You're gonna get through this. We're yeah. all gonna get through this. No, this is fine. No, it's fine. No, we're good, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So uh, proceed to where we know the witch is. Every, everybody uh, out of the car? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Nelly? Which is, sorry, not our. Wits plus suspects, please. Uh, oh, yeah. Three successes. Three successes. Uh, but two, but I, yeah, the, it's a oh, messy wait. critical. Oh, yeah. Did you get a messy crit? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Three that, total, but a messy crit. That's a thing. As you exit the SUV, shut the door behind you, you see something out of the corner of your eye, hmm? deeper into the park. As you turn to look, you see a white, shining, gossamer-like shape. Vaguely like a person. Maybe maybe wearing a dress, a long dress. It's not really quite there though, and you find yourself completely absorbed in this apparition to the point where you forget your friends, friends, your colleagues, your associates, and begin to move toward it. She has left the SUV and is walking intently deeper into the park, away from the observatory, her stare fixed on something that only she can see. Is that, is it, is that I, normal? I don't know what she's doing. Nellie? No. Nellie? No. The figure reaches out a pale limb and beckons, beckons towards you. F- follow her, <laughs> but let, let it happen. Mm-hmm. I, I get out and I follow. Still walking. Okay, still walking forward. Oh, yes. Your arms are outstretched, mm-hmm. trying, to, trying to touch it. Mm-hmm. Trying Nelly. To reach it. Shh. It's over there. You see absolutely nothing. Um, is, we don't see anything that, either. It's okay. That, okay. She's wearing a dress. She is wearing a dress. It's very difficult to make out the details, even with your preternatural sight, but she would say <laughs> that the. The dress is long out of fashion, maybe by a century or more. Is, is that a thing her clan can do, or I is there a ghost, doing. or the is that a witch? At the sound of her voice, the apparition simply <gasps> fades into the night. What? It be- comes apart like so many <gasps> tiny particles of white luminescence and melts what? into the night air. What happened? We should go inside. Let's go inside. I. Oh. You're being weird. I mean. Excuse like, me. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, like, me weird? Than, weird. Oh, you want to talk about weird? If you point I me, can't. I swear. Don't point. Let's, <laughs> we're just let's okay inside. But we're, I'm just gonna go. In, it's, we're gonna just talk gonna about, go we're gonna talk about this. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, inside. So you approach the observatory. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, hmm. Within about 50 yards of the front door, you are intercepted uh, by someone that three of you, Jasper, Nellie, and Victor, have at least seen, perhaps in uh, the Baron's office or near there, but have never spoken to. You only know that her name is Eva mm-hmm. and that she is a kindred of the Tremere. Eva uh, is. Uh, tall and slender, and she has hair that is almost, um, is so blonde it's almost white under the starlight. Uh, she's extraordinarily pale, like, like chalk, like bone. Even her lips are colorless. Her eyes, however, are a deep sapphire blue. And she's wearing um, a very long, shapeless uh, dress, uh, and a vest that looks like it might have um, flower appliques on it. You're not sure. Maybe they're maybe they're stitched on. Maybe they're patches. You're not sure. Little tulips and daisies and um, roses. Um. Hello, uh, Ava. Eva. Eva. Uh, mm-hmm. Victor. Nelly. Jasper. Uh, and this is Annabelle. Uh, the Baron has sent us to speak with you. Yes, yes, he told me what he wanted. You're Annabelle. I'm Eva. She holds out her hands. Hi. 
You take her hands? Yeah. They are like ice. They are freezing cold. You might as well have stuck your hands in the freezer. <laughs> They're so uncomfortable. <laughs> she grips your hands tightly, though. And she looks at you intently. I'm very much head on a swivel during this whole thing of like, mm -hmm. who's... It's... I'm not. I'm watching very closely. Yes, yes, I see. I see. Oh, you poor thing. Hmm. Well, let's get this done, shall we? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, right here, out here? Well, over there. It's better under the stars. Please lead on. Mm hmm. Uh, Eva leads you away from the parking lot and um, toward the side of the observatory building. Follow? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, Annabelle, too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she leads you to a small grove of palm trees near one of the observatory wings. And it's just barely illuminated by a splash of pale yellow light from the observatory dome. It's no good in there. Better out here. So, Annabelle, I'm going to help you. The Baron and you have questions, and this is how we're going to get answers. It's not very pleasant, but it's necessary. I'll, I'll do what needs to be done. I was hoping you would say that. From somewhere, not sure where she was hiding them, she produces two objects. A very small knife and a silver cup. She hands you both. Fill it. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Um. Do you need help? Uh, no, it's just, uh, uh, I guess we don't need to worry about diseases. Mm. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, actually, we do, but not here like this, no. Okay. Uh, sorry. I, I assure that you, it's dumb. quite sanitary. Great. Okay. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. And I, I, uh, we don't have all night. Uh, oh, I can do the. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that works on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so I, um, open up. I, I guess I would know instinctively where I can get a lot of blood from pretty quickly and painlessly. She points at your arm. Oh, okay. Uh, that'll do. All right. What's Great. that knife made out of? I, uh, I... It's made out of silver. Slice. I slice, uh, I slice into my arm. The <laughs> knife isn't as sharp as it could be. Silver doesn't take an edge very well. So this hurts. <laughs> you move the blade <laughs> along your forearm, and you find that you can will the blood to do as you want. The dark crimson liquid wells out of the wound on your arm <laughs> and drips into the cup. Okay. And in a few moments, the cup is full. Oh, that's not going to work because you didn't bite. It only works with bite. Damn it! But <laughs> These are the kind of things you need to tell me. I tried. She, she, said. <laughs> she said, "Do it anyway." Okay. I, all right. You can. You can just relax. Relax. Look. Okay. Relax. Look at your arm. And imagine the flesh closing, knitting, mending together. Do it. She's never gonna get this. She will. She's a survivor. Okay. And as you think about the image in your head that she has described, the wound does close. The edges creep forward together, closer and closer and closer, until they meet. And in a few moments, the wound is completely gone. But need to make a rouse check. Yeah, because you just lost some blood, girl. <sighs> Failure means your hunger increases. Uh, a, that's a bestial 
failure. That's his call. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's not part of a dice pool. So it's just a hunger okay. check. So your hunger does increase. So you were at one. Now you're at two. The act <sighs> of giving up a part of your vitae, your, your blood, and then mending the wound tempted the beast. And it does claw at your gut. It almost whispers in your ear. A beast we are, less the beast we become. <laughs> Eva takes the cup and the knife. That's really well done. Thanks. So, normally this would take a lot longer, but we've perfected a few things. Mm. Ready? Sure. She holds the cup up to the night sky, raises it first to the north, then to the east, in the south, and then the west. With a silver knife, she touches the side of the cup again, and the cardinal points at the compass. And then she takes her finger and stirs the blood leftward, counterclockwise, faster and faster and faster and faster. And as she stirs, the blood begins to smoke and burn mm -hmm. in the cup. Smells wonderful. As good as mortal blood tastes and smells. This smells like it would taste even better. Soon the blood is all burned away, leaving just a black rime on the inside of the cup, which Eva scrapes away with her fingers and tastes. Hmm. Mm hmm. And she looks at Annabelle. Hmm. Okay. Annabelle of the thirteenth generation. Child of the Bruja clan. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that explains a lot. And something else. There's dormant magic here. What? Blood magic has been used upon you since your embrace. I can see it. We'll help get rid of that. This cup is all we'll need. Come back and see me in a few nights. Tell the Baron what you need to. Okay. It's up to us to report this. You won't. Yes, I believe said. those were his instructions. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eva. There's uh, anything we can do to be of use? Please don't hesitate to ask. Is there anything you would like to ask, Eva, before we go? Victor Temple, I accept the offer of your favor. A boon has been offered and accepted. This all seems like very serious business. What's going on? It is very serious no, business. Okay. No questions. Eva though. takes her cup and her knife, turns around, and walks back toward the observatory. <sighs> Roughly what time is it? That's when the automobile comes barreling up over the ridge of the hill, gunning its motor, and heading for you. <laughs> so what do you want to do? The one that is not ours? <laughs> Unseen presence. Unseen presence. Vanishing. Rouse check. I'm hungry. Mmm, a little just... bit more than kin and less than kind. I Gone before your eyes. Grab Annabelle. Annabelle, and I'm just like hide, like push her towards the observatory. There's a vehicle coming, uh, coming Did towards you, you at high anything? speed. What, what's going on? Just listen to him and go. There's no time to talk. It's going to be yeah, upon I, I you. I literally like push her towards the observer. Like, uh, is like, do we have time to try and okay, get to, I go, to I go our hide. car? You get to do one thing. 
okay. before it's upon you. So okay. I'm asking you each individually what you want to do. Annabelle, what do you want to do? I follow his instructions. You follow his instructions. Head towards okay. the observatory. To Head hide. towards the observatory. Yep. Nelly? Following. Following. Okay, the three of you are racing as fast as you can go toward the observatory. Yep. Jasper, on the other hand, is remaining unseen. Okay? Yep. The car doesn't hit you. Instead, it slams into your SUV. Oh. There's a huge crash, a squeal of brakes, wrecks its own engine block, moves your SUV, I don't know, two dozen yards along the parking lot, and you hear Eve scream in pain. Your driver is shit. We gotta go back for her. You're booking it toward the uni- the uh, the observatory. But you're still yeah, hidden. You can know. Okay, I'm still standing right where I was. Right. I moved out of the way of the car, but I'm watching. Standing still. Okay. You reach the doors of the observatory. No one's gotten out of the vehicle yet. What do you do when you get there? But she's not like us. She's not gonna be okay. I will go look. You standing, whispering at the door of the observatory? No, pushing through. Yeah, past like, the, like okay. open, the open the door, right door yeah. Open, right. Opening up the door? Yes. Yeah. It's unlocked. It yeah. shouldn't be, but it is. Right. And you're entering? Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Try and find a window, though. Oh, to look out. Yes. So okay, I understand. This is the entrance yes. of the observatory, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. So a giant swinging pendulum pendulum is happening there? Mm-hmm. Great. So we're going to veer off to the left side because there's some more museum type things that way? Yes. There's the okay. Tesla coil there. Yes. Meanwhile, out in the parking lot, two doors open. One in the front and one in the back. The driver of the car is a squat, misshapen individual. Long arms, really long arms. A natural silhouette in the night sky. The individual emerging from the back seat is tall and athletic. You can't tell in the dark who they are, really what they look like. They're just shapes, just shadows. The tall one who got out of the back seat says, is she dead? The misshapen squat figure says, I don't know, I'll go check. Goes around to the front of the SUV. I can't tell. Hold on. There's a sound of rending metal as he rips the driver's side door off its hinges and discards it behind him like a hubcap or a frisbee, like it weighs nothing. Still watching? I'm still watching. Okay. It's really hard to see from the lighted interior of the of the observatory out into the parking lot. You can see the vehicles, you can see that there are shapes moving around under the street lights, but you're not getting a lot of detail. Something big and metallic just went flying across the uh, parking lot oh there and lands with a crash. We gotta go back out there. No, we will not do such a thing. We will sit here and we will wait. No, she's right. Back out in the parking lot. We have to go back out. You hear Ebe shout, mm-hmm. uh, and there are several gunshots. Now that's our cue. The muzzle flash comes from inside the SUV. Right. Eve is shooting. Okay. Eve is shooting. Okay. okay. I take off and I, and I run back towards the SUV. You're headed uh, out? Yes. Okay. Out. I'm going to I'm going to yes. go out too. Racing out? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, really? Sauntering. Sauntering. <laughs> a little bit more slowly. Taking a stock slower. of the situation. Yeah. And hanging back in reserve. Yeah. Can, so... Let me know when I get close enough to jump, because I actually want to jump to land in between Eve and the one that is trying to hurt her. Okay. So I'll like run, 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 run until I think You're I can make it. You're going to race and then jump in? I'm mm-hmm. positioning myself behind the taller one. You're moving around to get into position mm-hmm. behind that tall figure. Do you want me to make a stealth check? Please do. My specialty. <laughs> Now you've jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, my <laughs> I love that sound. Right? <laughs> That's three successes. Three successes. Okay. Figure doesn't turn around. As you get closer, you can start to make out some details. Short, dark hair, military-style haircut. Um, 
He's wearing a, a longish coat that is um, too warm for this time of year, really. Um, jeans or maybe cargo pants, you're not sure. Um, boots of some kind, you can't tell if they're work boots or, or Doc Martens. He is uh, clearly ready for action, but he's paying no attention to you. Is he breathing? Hmm. From behind, through clothing. And it's too warm to see breath in the air. Uh, that's a really tough difficulty, and you don't have any aspects, right? No, I do not. Okay, so let's make it... Let's make it wits and insight. If you've wits got. and insight, got it. Okay. okay. Just had to go down. <laughs> that is four successes. Ooh. That's incredible visual acumen, especially at night in these conditions. It's amazing. Breathing. You're an apex predator. <laughs> Annabelle, racing across the parking lot, not making really any attempt to remain unseen. You're just moving toward the fight, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're moving toward the car where, um, where Eve is? Yeah. What, what, what can I see? Can I see okay. what's uh, happening? I'm, I'm going towards right the car. You. Yeah, until I can, so you can gauge leave. the jump, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm moving towards the car and toward running the, toward the car. So multiple things happen at once. Uh, you race close enough uh, to see that uh, Eve is uh, crouched inside the car. She's got her back against the uh, passenger side front door. She's got a pistol leveled at the, uh, the shape on the other side. Uh, she's getting ready to fire again. Victor, when you're within about 20, 25 feet, you think you can make it. Okay, because I want to jump so that when I land, I land basically between her and the guy. So he's got to go through me to get to her. Some pretty precision jumping. Soaring leap definitely lets you cover the distance, but if you want to control the exact spot, uh, I'm going to need dexterity and athletics. Neither are my thing. (laughs) (laughs) Unlife is difficult, they say. Uh, that's just challenging. For, you need four successes. That, nope, I get nothing. No success. Do you want to boost your uh, physical abilities with I, willpower? No, I, I can land like nearby, if okay. I, even if I don't land where I mean to. You make the leap. Yeah. Uh, you land on the hood of the car, mm-hmm. looming over the guy. And uh, he is uh, he's misshapen. At first you think he's Nosferatu, but maybe not. He's got uh, super long arms, unnaturally long. And, uh, but his, uh, his features are you know, relatively normal, even if they're una- unattractive, although on the human scale of unattractive. Uh, he's wearing a, a dark hoodie with the hood down so that you can see his face. Um, and uh, he looks up at you, surprised. Nelly, you have sauntered your way Fashionably, <laughs> slowly. With my hands in my pocket, I have something in my hand, and I'm actually standing out, hopefully, um, near um, some shrubbery and maybe potentially looking for a spider of some sort. Oh, small arachnid. As you're looking around, you're the only, uh, you're the only one who has the vantage point to uh, take notice of something that nobody else has mm. seen yet. Um, wits and awareness, please. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. Two, three. <laughs> That's not a lot, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, sorry. It, it, it could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> I, we can we could raise the difficulty if you want to. That that no two successes. Two successes great. is yeah. enough. You can see the glare of headlights just under the lip of the far hill. There's another car waiting over there, about a hundred yards away. Jasper. You're in position if you want to be. What do you want to do? This is a living person. It's breathing. I... (sighs) Draw my knife. Okay. And I reach around and put it to his throat. You want to step up and threaten him with the blade against yeah. his throat. And just hold it. Okay. Do you say anything? Can we help you? <laughs> he stiffens and there's a sharp intake of breath. You feel his muscles tense as though he's going to make a break Do for not it. And then move. 
the knife presses against his throat and he freezes. Annabelle, I, you reach the car. What do you want to do? I yank open the passenger side. Mm-hmm. Eve scoots out, lands on her feet, still pointing the gun through the through the uh, SUV. Now it's got both open, uh, both one door is torn off and one is wide open, uh, and she fires three more bullets. Loud gunshot reports echo through the night. Do they seem to be affecting the guy in any way? Yeah, let's find out. You can't tell whether or not she's hit him yet. A couple of her shots slam right into him, and he staggers back a couple of feet. He doesn't drop, though. Mm. You think he should have. Mm. Does, can I tell if he's breathing or... You want to make an observation? Yes. In the, in the middle of combat, it's going to be super hard. Go ahead and... Um, what did we say earlier for, um, for Jasper? Um, wits and insight. He grunts in pain, he grimaces, his hands clutch his chest, but he doesn't fall over. Uh, two successes and mm-hmm. one bestial, one skull. One skull? Mm-hmm. But it's an overall success, overall right? Overall success. Okay, so bestial failure is only a failure yes. if the whole roll is a failure. Otherwise, it's just yeah. an, another failure. So two successes? Mm-hmm. You think this guy is alive, too. He's breathing, he blinks. Temporarily. Has color in his skin. Whatever these guys are, they're not exactly human, but they're not vampires either. Eve says, thanks, appreciate it. No problem. Reaches into her waistband, pulls out a second pistol, and hands it to you. Uh, uh, I just yell point and click. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Victor? You're on top of the on top of the SUV. Your SUV yes. which is now uh, smashed to pieces and missing. Really the side o- door. Not okay with. Nah, it's I not also, been a great night for you, actually. I also draw my gun in. You're gonna fire point blank at yeah, him. Yeah, I'm not gonna okay. say anything to him. Ranged it's combat. Like, Go ahead and fire. While he's firing away, and uh, and Annabelle is trying to figure out which end of the gun to point. What's Nelly doing? I'm keeping eyes on that second. Uh, Pair of headlights. Okay, so you're making sure that. How far is she from m- me? From you? Wife? Um, maybe ten yards. Not so far. Did I find that spider? Make a hunger check. One success. One success. Mm-hmm. Okay. All this guy can do is is dodge since he has no weapon and he is not in combat range. I got a success on the hunger. One success. Um, you've missed. The bullet slams into the asphalt of the parking lot and goes clanging off into the night. Uh, you got his attention, though, and he's no longer looking at Eve. Nelly, there is, um, there is a cobweb, spider web, uh, in a rose bush near the observatory wall as you're walking out. Mm. There's a big, fat, black spider sitting in it. I put my hand out. Want to take it? Oh, yes. Okay. What do you want to do with it once you get it? Um, so I'm going to grab what was in my hand, a vial of blood. Mm-hmm. Smash the um, spider and the um, vial. Do the thing. Um, so, yes. I'm going to start scaling some walls. You're going to climb the observatory wall? Oh, yeah. She goes straight up it, just like a spider, like a lizard. It's really uncanny. Do you plan to fire the gun, or? I uh, crawl through the car and launch myself at the guy. Going through the SUV. Yeah. Never mind the gun. You're just gonna use. You're gonna use fists, claws. Uh, teeth. Well, I I use the butt of the gun and I <laughs> slam it into his head. So you're basically launching yourself like a, like an inhuman missile. Yeah. Through it. Okay. Uh, strength plus athletics. Let's see if you can hit him, Jasper. This guy's not moving. What do you want with us? Yeah, we were just told to uh, make sure you don't get out of the park. Hmm. How's that going? Could be better. Two successes? (laughs) 
He was so fixated on dodging the bullet that he didn't even see you coming through the SUV. You rocket through it uh, like, an, like an undead missile and slam into it, him using the gun as a club. So use the gun as a club mm-hmm. and I... Driving your fist right yeah, into and his tried, midsection. Eat lead! <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, he groans in pain and sits down, doubled over on the pavement. Clutching his stomach, the wind knocked out of him. You're on top of him. Yes. You want to keep keep I using want, the gun? Yeah, I'm okay. gonna just keep hitting him. Bring I don't want to kill him, but him. I just want to make him stop. Okay. Who said you? Oh man, this is not good. Not no, good at all. It's not. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, can we make a deal? What's the deal? What do you want? I tell you and you let me go? Sure. Shit. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. McNeil sent me. McNeil, great. And I slam his head against the car oh, next to us. Oh, <laughs> bounce it off. Strength plus brawl. <laughs> brawl. <laughs> got one down being beaten to a pulp by Annabelle, who is uh, Two finally working out some of her issues, maybe, on this, on this, uh, on this whatever it is. But don't intervene. Two successes? Two. <laughs> <laughs> he slides bonelessly to the asphalt. Annabelle, it's a few minutes before you realize he's not moving. <laughs> is he, did I... Mm, he's still breathing, but he's badly hurt. Okay, um... We... Should go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Ava's people have already cleared out. Mm-hmm. There's another. Annabelle is no longer on the... Uh, excuse me, um... I beg your pardon. It's okay. Nelly is no longer on the ground with you. She is on top of the observatory wall, <clears throat> and she's pointing off in the distance where you can see car headlights glowing from the top of the head. God. Have, we, have we seen her do that before? I don't think so. Hmm. That's just like, cool, it, can I do is, that? Is Probably their uh, SUV still drivable? Because they T-boned mine and totaled it, but does theirs their, seem functional? Their car, you think, is probably capable of driving out of here. I put, I pick Eve up and put her in the passenger side of their car, and I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, get in the are, car. They, are they gonna be okay if we leave them here? Are they gonna be okay It if doesn't them matter. Here? Just get in the car. I like, I'm jumping down. Yeah. <laughs> Descending okay. the wall? Yeah. Okay. Spider like? Lizard like? Yep. Very spider like. When you, when you hop in the car, I'm like, Dutch, d- drive! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're in the driver's seat? Yeah, I'll drive. You put Eve in? Yep. Now I'm Buckle her in, of course. Annabelle, your hand, your palms, the butt of the gun, your sleeves, they've got, they've got his blood all over them. Jasper, what about you? I'm very hungry. How hungry are you? I'm at three right now. You can feel the beast coiling and uncoiling in your gut. It's painful. It's hungry. It's ravenous. You think you can hold on, but you're not sure. I say we split up once we lose them for a second. It. Yeah, I mean, they, they can't follow us both, right? I mean, no. um, as soon as we get down from that windy hill that leads from Griffith Observatory, we, have, we haven't got there yet. Yeah, was, but there are no parking lot so okay, far. Okay. I was like, I'm like, we're all locals. You're, we know no, there's only one way. Once we get of the game. there, we have a thing. So, if Annabelle, do you also get in the SUV? Yeah, yeah. You climb yeah. in also. Once everyone's in. Yeah, the engine sputters to life. Uh, there's a, there's some instability in the wheel. You think one of the one of the front tires might be uh, rubbing up against some metal, but it's it's gonna go. Mm-hmm. It's probably not gonna do top speed, and it probably won't take another hit on the front like that. But it's mm-hmm. drivable. Okay. So again, to be clear, there's only kind of the one hill down Griffith Observatory. Are they down basically where we've got to pass them, or where they higher up, watching below and pass? Okay. 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 I just say, uh, put your seatbelts on, because we might hit them on the way out. Okay. Jasper, though, mm-hmm. what are you doing as they begin to drive away? 
Go. I shut, I jump out, shut the door, and wait. Just, I, just sh- for- he can take care of himself. He can take care of himself. When he jumps out of the car, I do punch it. Just I mean, go. I no. know him. You can try to see him if you want to. You have that talent. Yes. I succeeded my hunger check. You got you. You succeeded. Yeah. So I'm good. You are okay. Your hunger does not increase. Um, wits plus aspect um, versus um, wits plus obfuscation. Okay. Two success. Like, hopefully he's going to deal with that at the car. <laughs> Otherwise. <laughs> Three successes. Ooh. Try as you might, you don't see him. The knight hides him perfectly. Well, What's I your so plan? Um... I, I'm going to stay here for the moment mm-hmm. and watch what happens when they pass. Okay. Did you have anything in your car that might be useful in this instance? Well, he's probably got, you know, spare tire, tire iron, maybe a hauling rope or chain. I was, um, I'm certain we probably would have had a couple blood packets because, you know, it's not our first rodeo. Kind of mm-hmm. in a cooler in the back. You know, they don't do you any good. True. So probably not. You also have my phone. Yeah, he's got your phone for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, no, <laughs> he's got <laughs> your phone. <laughs> yeah. Um, for sure. Um, okay. Yeah, bes- besides yeah. like ultra high grade tent. No, yeah, it was, okay, just, great. it was just a nice um, ride. <laughs> I'm going to wait and watch for a minute I will miss before her. I leave. Okay. What's your plan? My plan is to try and get down the hill, but if they if they try and intercede, I'm going to try and hit them in the door. So I do mean to go around, but if I can't, okay. maximum damage. Got it. So make a drive, make a, a drive pool here. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, That's know, just right. that. Is this Dex and drive? Let's see here. <laughs> I'm used Let's to having people your, do this for me. Character sheet. Victor's not accustomed to driving. No, I, I don't. Believe. What is... Yeah, Dex and Drive. So, ooh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> have, you got more, have you got more hunger dice than you do regular dice for this? Uh, I have a die, and that one die <laughs> is a hunger, hunger die. die. Yeah. So you can roll it and hope for the best, um, or you can... Um, Spend. Uh, you can risk. You can take a rouse check. I'm going and, to do that. Uh, improve your dexterity. I'm going to summon the blood to improve my dexterity. All right, make the check. Uh, that is a success. So that is that. That's good. That's good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Your All hunger right. stays stable. Yep. Add a die. Yep. Uh, that is one success. All right. I'm not awful. <laughs> <laughs> Not a really very familiar guess. You, you, you don't you don't have to you don't have to push the gas quite the so hard and, and maybe don't hit the brake quite as often. I mean, but I but do you got that. it. You got it. <laughs> like, but I do. Cars in motion. Yeah, I rolled no successes. Ah. Zero. You careen down the hill. <laughs> the, the driver's side door <laughs> scrapes their driver's side door. There's a howl of protesting metal, yep. but before they can react, you are past them and rocketing down the drive. Yep. Okay, you can hear them uh, squeal of brakes up there as they turn around and try to tail you. How far away for, uh, from me are they? About 100 yards. Okay, so. can't do that. Um, okay, so I see them Sorry, get away. Sorry. You see them... <laughs> Go down the hill, right. and you see the car's headlights turn, and you think they're going to try to follow. Okay. 100 yards. Soaringly, if I can get five meters. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. almost 30 feet. Yeah, which is not enough to clear that distance right now. So You could do it three times. <laughs> Depends on how fast you're moving relative to them. True. A few, a few <laughs> leaps, and you would cover the distance yeah, in under I'm, a minute. I'm going to try and see if I can and get and land on top of their car. Catch them coming down the hill. (laughs) The car is probably going to be in motion before you can get there, but you can certainly close the distance. Um, Close the distance. I mean, even if I can't, like, maybe just grab onto the back or something. No rouse check necessary for a sword. No. So you don't risk hunger. So the um, the powerful undead muscles of your legs Mm -hmm. send you bounding across the asphalt to the parking lot. Propelling you horizontally as you try to, to essentially leap your way 
to the uh, to the enemy vehicle. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Uh, let's go with um, strength and athletics. Strength and athletics. Okay. Uh, do you want to increase your chances of success? You're pretty hungry already. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that. Okay. So, well, it's five times your potence horizontally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would be five. There's five five meters. Yeah. Because I'm at one. Okay, cool. Two successes. Two successes. Okay. So uh, you clear the distance in under a minute. Anyone who was here to observe would see you, you know, leaping almost gazelle-like with mm -hmm. unusual grace through the night. Pretty interesting sight to see a Nosferatu, you know, <laughs> leaping like a kangaroo. Yeah. But there's no denying that it's effective. Um, you reach the uh, enemy vehicle just as it's beginning its descent down the hill. Okay. Have I landed next to it, or am I still in air when I reach it? Uh, you are landing right next to it. Okay. Can yeah. I... What kind of car is this? It's an SUV. Okay. Is there? Is it one that has, like, a tire on the back of it? Yeah, the big spare tire. Yeah. Can I grab onto that? You can try. Okay. This is going to be very difficult. All right. Okay. Um, this is strength-related, uh, so make it strength and athletics, but i got to put the difficulty at five. Okay. This is super hard. You got enough dice to get five successes? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I believe oh, no. in you. Four successes. Four successes. Willpower? So. At cost. Since it's a failure, but you did get some successes, mm -hmm. you could succeed at a cost. And I'll tell you what you can do. And you can decide okay. if you want to succeed at this cost or if you'd just rather fail if you think the price is too high. All right. Okay. Yeah. You can grab it. No problem. Um, there is almost no way you're going to be able to hang on to a high-speed car chase. Yeah. At some point, you are going to fall off and take some considerable road rash damage. Mm -hmm. But you might get all the way down. You might stay on long enough to get a look at who's in the car. You might get some sense of who they are or where they're going. So you might be able to gather information that will help you later. I'll risk it. I'll take it. You're going to take it? I'll take okay. it. Okay. All right. So cling desperately to the tire as the car speeds down the hill, trying to take the hairpin turns as yeah. safely as they can. <laughs> left, right, left, right. Squeal of brakes, and you can hear them behind you as you're gunning, gunning the accelerator on your vehicle, moving down Griffith Park as fast as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. At some point, you're going to fall off. Okay. And I'll have you roll your own damage. All right. Okay. So... But uh, while you're there, mm -hmm. <laughs> you get a decent look at the driver and the passenger. Okay. And in the glow of their dashboard instrumentation panels, uh, you notice that the passenger is a woman. And when she smiles, she's got the longest, prettiest fangs you've ever seen. And you would recognize that profile when you see it again. Okay. And that's when you fall off and smash into the pavement. Uh, let's see here. Roll against me four dice. Including blood? Including your blood. Your hunger. Mm -hmm. Two successes. Oh, you are the luckiest Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> you take two, two superficial, which right. is halved, so it's only one. Only one. So, you know, the left side of your face lucky. meets the pavement very, very painfully, and only some of your undead skin is left on the road. And you tumble to the side into the ditch okay. without taking any further injury. Am I It'll still in the park, technically, or am I on the street? You are in the park still. Great. I... Into the bushes. Okay. So, <laughs> we're nearing the end of our story for the night, so let's go ahead and decide on some uh, closing scene action so that we know where to pick it up in Chapter 2. Victor, where are you headed? Uh, Ebe, are you with me enough to be able to call the Baron? She's, she's I'm fine. I'm fine. They just took me by surprise. I'm sorry, sir. I tried to take him down, but I think they were, I think they were servants worse. I call the Baron because we were supposed to report back and tell the Baron all of this, like mid high speed chase. <laughs> like you're trying we, to, you're yeah. trying to keep your hands on the wheel, conduct the 
uh, escape and calling yourself? No, I need Eve to make the call. You want Eve to make the call? Yeah. Okay. But we're but I will talk. I mean, you can feel free to tell too. But <laughs> call in. Like this is what's up. Speakerphone. Yes, yeah, speakerphone. Yeah. Speakerphone. Okay. Nellie, what are you doing while this is occurring? Ah, uh, I was gonna grab the phone from Eve and, and dial the Baron. She she knows better than to try to resist you and just hands it to you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Dialing you're like make furiously. The yes. Annabelle, anything here? What the hell's a brouhaha? <laughs> 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 you're gonna be all right. You're gonna make it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Mr. Temple, the Baron Abrams voice is on the other end of your speakerphone. What's going on over there? Did I hear when the man told him who'd sent them? Mm-mm. Right. We weren't anywhere close. Right. And it was in the middle of a firefight. Sure. I'm like, uh, we were attacked at the observatory. I think attacked by whom? I think Ava got out clean. They looked like mortals. Mortals attacked you? Yes, and we have a tale currently that we're escaping. Mm. But we did manage to find out Annabelle's clan. Uh, Yes, uh, we do have a baby bruja on our hands, but sir, would you like us to redirect somewhere else or return to your sanctum? A bruja, how typical. She is fairly cliche, yes, sir. (laughs) Be that as it may, no, don't come back here. Lose them, and we'll talk tomorrow night. Yes, sir. We should go to Mulholland Drive. <sighs> That's far from where we are if we're leaving Griffith Park. We should try Mulholland Drive. Although on, once we get back into like normal streets, I mm-hmm. actually like slow it down. Like again, I'm not trying to pick up police. Make another drive check. That is no successes. No successes at all? Uh, so question about the willpower. I know we're almost out. Uh, willpower does not come back automatically. I have to do something to regain it, right? Actually, willpower, or at least some of it, depending on circumstances, will refresh at the n- at the start of the next chapter. Then I'm going to go ahead and spend that willpower. That <laughs> seems wise. I need to keep this. Mm-hmm. I need to keep us in alive. One success. Well, yeah. you beat them flat. <laughs> lose them in the traffic coming out of the park. <sighs> Thank God for that yeah. traffic right on Los Feliz. <laughs> yep. I'm like, uh, Eve, you're getting a raise. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot harder than I gave you credit for. If I can quickly, I'm one, I'm heading home. And home, two, home? Home, home. Or college home. Home, home. Home, home it is. And two, I make a phone call to the Baron. On your own? On my own. Jasper. Yes, I. Aren't you with Victor? No, we split up. I see. Uh, it made more sense than all sticking together in that car chase, so I ducked out. Uh, I'm going to assume they called you already? Yes, we've spoken. What do you want? I just want you to know that I have some information they didn't, and that those men that I'm sure they told you about? Yeah. McNeil sent them. McNeil? That's what they said. Under coercion. We'll talk tomorrow night. Thank you, Jasper. I won't forget it. Goodbye. Goodbye. This seems like a very opportune place to close the chapter tonight. (laughs) You managed to get away and live to fight another night. So, congratulations. Thank you very much. We're watching Chapter 1, Mortal Stakes, a Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, <laughs> Los Angeles by Night. Join us next week for Chapter 2 and Jasper's Home. Are we going to see your logo? Because now we know. That's yeah. it. Oh. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. Thank you all very much. Thank you.